taking like forever right now. Like I've been Excuse here all day. This may take until tomorrow. Look how long this line is. I'm like this is not cool. Oh yeah, she's pretty. What's your name, baby doll? Marilyn. I get asked out all the time. What's up, wifey? There's no good men out here today. You never know what the night's gonna bring. Everybody's drunk down here. They're very hostile. Yo, the police is fugazi. You never know what the citizen is gonna do. They're not taking my truck tonight. I'm out. I know it's not mine either. Yes, it is. It's your car. You got angry people in here right now. Tell me somebody that can tell my car here and I'll pay them. Oh, we got profanity in the building. Whichever way people enter that front door is the way they are at that window. See, even the babies, man. If they nice, they approach us nicely. There's no in between. Come on, stop cutting in front of me, man. I've been here. I was just mad. I've been here. I might even get my car and I'm mad. All right, it's my turn, guys. Come on. I had no valid insurance on my vehicle. It was towed uh, between like midnight and probably 1.30 in the morning. I gotta pay the money now. $75, man? This is not cool, you see what I'm saying? Like, this is really not good. Yeah, what happened? Yeah, $20. Oh, you haven't got no change for me now, man? They don't got $0.20. It's, cents. Not, it's just 20 I just handed him a $100 oh, bill. He doesn't have on. change for me. It's just $0.20. I get twenty cents now? Can I get $0.20, cents, guys? Who got $0.20 cents in here for me, man? Oh, thank you. You see? This gentleman just handed me $0.20. Cents. There you go. Thanks a lot, man. <laughs> oh, now I got to stand in that line now? Look how long this line is. This is ridiculous, man. Come right, on, let's keep the line moving, guys. Keep the line moving. Yeah, I came in this morning. It was just too much of a line in here. And I'm back right now because I have someone actually giving me a ride. Hey, how you doing? Is this what you need? I got my insurance done. But one of the tickets you were issued was registration being suspended. Did you get that taken care of? So my, my what? Just release, let go. Just release, let go. The registration was suspended. That's why they towed it. <laughs> I need to see if the registration okay, is suspended. Okay, wait a minute. Now, as far as, um, if it is suspended, right, mm -hmm. how would I get the vehicle out of here? You have two options. Yeah. You can contact PennDOT. They get the stop lifted. Sometimes it may take until tomorrow, though. What? So wait a minute. I'd have to actually take another day off. Yes. Come back tomorrow. But, that, but here's the flip side of that. Uh -huh. The other option would be to take the license plate off. We give it to you. You have to surrender it. Okay. To the state police barracks or a tag agent. They'll give you a slip proving you did that. All right. You bring it back here with, and a, I private can get it towed with a private tow truck. Tow right, can I have but the thing is, once you do that, now you're serving a suspension. You want to take the tags off? I'll then? take the tags off. All right. Keep in mind, we're open till 9 o'clock, so you got plenty of time. To okay, lose. yeah, I'll be up the block and back. The only thing is, though, these receipts, I need you to bring them back. You can't keep them? Not right now, just in case you don't make the cut by 9 o'clock and you oh, okay. come back tomorrow. Definitely. Definitely. He was talking about me actually coming back in here tomorrow morning, which means that I actually have to lose another day of work. This is not good, America. Like, this is not helping my situation at all, you know? Yeah, I should start crying. Hold on. Wait, wait. America, this ain't right. I gotta lose a day of work to come back in here. <laughs> come. Come. It's man. gonna be okay, man. You know, I just. Sir. Sir. Yeah, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, what's my tags at, man? All right, a lot of officers will escort you to the vehicle to get All the right. tags off. Yo, I'll pay you $300 cash and let me roll out of here right uh, now. I can't do that. I'll lose my job. If you can pay my salary, I'll do it. All right, what's your salary, man? <laughs> no, really, like, how, how much do you want? Uh, no. He's pretty upset because, you know, he can't drive his car. He has to depend on me because, you know, I'm his ride. That's what you call a friend, a homie. I hope I get out of here tonight. Why did they send you back to the car? They told me to come in here. I gotta get my plate. I thought you were getting your stuff out of your car, your registration and stuff. What's going on right now is that he thought I was leaving with the vehicle. And um, he actually has to go get his tools now to take the plate off, which is causing me more time right now out of my day. And the sun is setting. This is ridiculous right now. This took my whole day. It's ridiculous. That's loud, man. He has to surrender his tags to the auto tag agency. He'll come back with the tow operator and he'll get his vehicle. I'm gonna come and get my car, I promise. We'll be back. Yeah, 
Yeah, we back in the building, you know. This the form I needed, and yeah. uh. Oh, you got some Reese's from, yeah, let me yeah. break off, man. I ain't eat all day, you know. So we gotta treat this like chicken you know, cheeseburger. It's a cold day in Philadelphia today. It's breakfast, guys. Hey, what's up? Ah, here you go. I thought Anthony got you out of here. I know, no, I'm still in the building, you know. Okay, now did you call a tow truck? Oh, yeah, he was outside a minute ago. I don't know where he just... All right, was. well, I'll tell you what. As soon as he gets here, you tell him to come inside, and then we'll get you out of here. That's a wrap. Okay? Yo, what's up, dog? He's talking to tow truck guy right now. We actually saw him earlier this morning, like around towards 11. If he can't come tonight, I have to actually call somebody else to get out of here. I refuse to come back here tomorrow. I refuse to. He said... He, he can't do it because he don't, he don't work around here. He don't do um, parking. Uh, Dude, he was just here, yo. What's going what? on, man? What? What? F your PPA. F y'all. Because y'all keep my up. Y'all take yo. my yo. car. Yo. Yo. This is ridiculous, man. Oh, man, what am I going to do? Um, I'm going to go look for a, a tow truck right now. And I'll be back. Track, like two seconds later, you know, by the grace of God, you know. Yeah, so basically all it is is right now I'm actually waiting for the tow truck to come here and get my vehicle. He said he'll be back within the next 15 to 20 minutes. I, I gotta eat, dude. Like, you I'm hungry, it? man. This is, I, I, I saw the sun go up and down out here, you know, so. We actually did see the sun go up and down, yo. No, we didn't see it go up, man. <laughs> we got I mean, not up. We, we got to go up. I yeah. definitely saw the sun come down. It was beautiful out here, you know. So yeah, we're here with the tow truck guy. The funny thing is, I paid for everything and I'm back online, you know? So I'm in the back of the line towards the window, you know? Guy, you know that? Of course. You're a happy fella. Oh, yeah. All right, is the tow guy here? All right, here he goes. You again. Let's get out of Finally here. Finally gonna get out of it's here. It's show time. It's now 7.25. That means I'm I've been here for a total of nine hours. Chill, eat. It's show time, baby. What's going on, man? What's going on? Yeah, what's going on? I don't know what's going on. It's just taking, like, forever right now. Like, I've been Excuse here all day. Me. I really just want the key. Hello? You know what I'm saying? Hey, can we get the car now? Is this showtime? Yes, you can. These are the keys. Let him drive it off. I got my key. Okay. Give us to the tow driver, and you guys stay out of here. Thank you. It's nice meeting you. Uh -huh. All right. Awesome. Showtime. They were pleasant, weren't they? I got my car, you know? Yeah! Hey, sweetheart. He's about to kiss his baby. Look at him. He all hype. <laughs> oh, what's up, baby? I'm happy. Everybody going home happy. Smiling. Cheese. It's showtime. I'm out. I can't do nothing about this, sir. You're right on a handicap ramp. I think parking authority is full of People are mad at DPA, but I don't want them to be mad at me because I'm only doing my job. I have to do everything that this job tells me to do, right? Is she gorgeous? <laughs> I get asked out all the time. You got a pretty one now. Oh, yeah, she's pretty. Yeah, that's good. Now y'all working it out. What's your name, baby doll? Marilyn. It's a pleasure meeting you, right? Nice to meet Make you. Sure you get at me. Okay. All right, I'm at work right now. Okay. All right. Take care, William. I will, Marilyn. I just gave him my business card. She's a beautiful lady, and I'm a handsome young man, and we're going to see where it's going to hit at for us in our future. Not interested. They say a man in uniform and a woman likes that, and I guess the same goes for us. <laughs> Yeah, I get a lot of business. I got a lot of phone numbers. I sure do, but I haven't gotten the right one yet. Like the one I really want to call me, like, hey, what's up? <laughs> a good marriage is supposed to be singing, laughing, enjoying each other, trust. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to find my husband. It's either going to be in the church or writing him a ticket. Wow. But then again, maybe not.
Very inconsiderate of him. I mean, look at this. There's no room for no one to walk on the sidewalk. He's blocking the whole sidewalk. The blind man is walking by now. I mean, sir, there's a, uh, a vehicle here on, on the sidewalk, sidewalk yes. To, to go around it, what do I do? I'm going to walk you. OK, left side, please. Let's All right. go this way. I just walked into a tree and bent my glasses this morning. That bothers me, because if I keep bending it, eventually it's going to break. Perfect example. I mean, he could have bumped into the car and got hurt. You know what I mean? It's just, this car should be towed. I have a vehicle parked on the 1300 block of South Street. Ridiculous. Do something with it, because, I mean, it's really a hazard. Just trying to make a living. Now we got to pay out money out of our pockets. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. Okay, it'll cut no one a break. Eventually, it's gonna catch up to him. You know what I mean? So. Hey, yo, that's my wife, you know, by the way. What's up, wifey? You're holding up traffic. She's fine as a mother. Could be the uniform. Plus, I'm a nice person. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> what? You're not nice. OK. Yes, she is. She's nice. <laughs> I'm young and cute. I can be sexy when I leave my hair out. <laughs> I'm a nice person. Find me a home, please. Oh. Can you help this plan out, sir? She needs a home. Take her home with you. I'm not going home. Oh, well, then you can leave her in the car and then take her home later. Right. She'll be warmer. Oh, look at how he's such a nice guy. Look. She doesn't even need this. See? <laughs> Have a nice one. Oh, now I'm sure she's going to have a nice home and be happy. Someone to talk to her, she's going to be really happy. He seemed like a nice guy, too. And she seems pretty nice. He was cute, wasn't he? He should have rescued my ass. <laughs> I'm married man. It's hard. All the good ones are taken. There's no good men out here today. Oh, his time is up. It's going to be over the time limit ticket. He's been here over two hours. Crazy. Oh, got you got a ticket already, two hours. I know, I, I just pulled up there. You were there this, you no, were there? I know, but there this morning, I just left, I just came back. Yeah, but you can't leave and come back and park in the same spot. Huh? How you gonna say I can't leave and come back in the motor? Yeah, hold up, hold up. That was over three hours ago. You're only allowed two hours no. in each block. Hold up. In each hmm. side of the block, you're only allowed two hours. I understand hours. that, but I was going more than two hours off, over the street. I was just waiting outside. Morning, you were hours. here this just, morning, though. I was here this morning, right. and I left, and I left. You cannot leave and come back and park in the same spot. You got to park on the other and side. And my car wasn't in the same spot. And you're still in the same area. You're still on the 1200 block no, what's on the out? same Hold side. Let me, see. Let me get your name and then your tag. It's now. on the ticket. My name is on the ticket. Bull man. Ticket. Know, it's not even two hours yet, because 223 and 1150, I still got minutes left. You got two hours and 33 minutes. I got 11.50. 10 more minutes will be 12 o'clock, right? You got two hours and 33 minutes. All right, yeah, I'm not going to argue with you about it, but I'm going to straighten it out because this, this ain't right. There's a number behind the ticket. You can request a court hearing if you feel oh, it's so that. I know that. that. I know that. Okay. I know that. OK. But I was trying to call you before you wrote it because I could have moved my car. I'm sorry. Have a good day. I know that when I come to work, I'm going to have to deal with people like that. I met a lot of people doing this job. Crazy people, weird people, cool people. Good men right here, look. Right here. This is a good man. I just don't like that yesterday he said I haven't, I need to lose weight. I said don't lose anymore. We do make a love healthy woman. We don't like skinny women. Like her woman to have meat and have a lot of meat and the bone. She's a very beautiful person. Thank you. A real fan or a good man. My brother, Jaru. Yes, free single and disengaged. <laughs> see you guys. Okay, take take care. care. Have a nice one. Hope to see you again, Queen. OK, thank you. A very beautiful lady like that should have somebody. But sometimes some women are tired of the bull <laughs> Men don't do right by them, so they decide they want to be alone. Oh, my god. There goes my husband. <laughs> All right. Take your key. Yes. My name's Elisa Thompson. I've been booting about seven months. 
She's the youngest booter we have. She's 21 right now, and she's good. Robert Berry's my partner. She's scanning, I'm booting. When he's booting, I make sure that nothing happens to him. She's big. I'm a six foot one, brown belt in karate. He's very short, he needs all the protection he can get. You gotta see a picture of his leprechaun outfit. On Irish weekend, he goes around and gets really drunk and walks around in this blow up leprechaun outfit. This is how he really is during the day. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. I like the night shift a lot, but sometimes it can be completely off the wall crazy. I don't even think I ever had a parking ticket. You're kidding me. I have had four parking tickets from just starting this job. One time, I was parked right outside of work. The meter was broken, and he gave me a ticket, and the man drove in my vehicle before. I actually gave him a ride home before in that vehicle, and he knew whose car it was. No mercy. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. These are on the screen because people paid for the releases, and today we're releasing as well as booting. So we're going to go there, make some people happy, take the boots off their cars. These are the keys that release the boots. Unlock them, take the boot off, and they're free. Hey, Bert, tell them what happens if you lose them. If you lose them, you get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah, a lot of trouble. <laughs> People offer us thousands of dollars just to get that little keychain right there. Yeah, he's going to be happy. He's going to be able to take his car home now. I was coming back from another place we went for, for dessert, like I need it. And um, I came over and I just saw the yellow. And I said, oh man, they didn't boot my car. I personally am prone for pink, which I think is fabulous. It'd be great if the city actually invested in the Hello Kitty model of uh, things. Pink Hello Kitty boots. That'd be cool. Like, you know how like the Thai cops have to wear Hello Kitty armbands when they've been wrong? Hello Kitty. Uh, it would be more friendly. It'd be more friendly. Make people laugh maybe a little bit. <laughs> Have a go. Maybe we'll put in a comment to our boss to put pink Hello Kitty boots to make everybody happy. I like the color pink. Pink's a pretty color. Barry really likes the color pink. I think that's his favorite color. No, it's not. This is South Street area. It's a very popular area of Philadelphia where a lot of stores and clubs. See a lot of interesting people down here. Yeah, where are these kids going with them eggs? It's like they're going to get into a little mischief. Mischief night is the night before Halloween where kids like to vandalize houses and trees and cars, and it's just a very annoying day. There's a cop car. Car, where's the car? That's it. Can you notify police? There's three little kids in there throwing the eggs at cars. I refuse to be egged by a bunch of little kids because you'll see me jump out of here and beat their little butts. A kid caused an accident. I mean, if they were to hit the windshield or something, the driver can lose control of the car and kill somebody. You see them? They probably went back to go get more eggs. Yeah, right. I like night work. A lot of people are home in bed. And we're out here till 1 in the morning. Everybody's drunk down here, so. They never know what the night's going to bring. 65 king. Yeah, that's it right there. I hope that's not theirs. Is that your vehicle? Hey, my car. You have to be real quick, too, because there's a lot of people who are drinking, so if they come out when they're drinking, they have more of a possibility to try to hurt us because they're not thinking clearly. It's 
seems like it's fun and joking around about it and all, but you never know what the citizen is going to do. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go start no You know how it go down. Especially if they're very hostile. Yo, the police is fugazi. They gonna tow it because this don't pay his tickets. You know what I mean? Some don't pay their tickets. I got tickets, but they don't know where my car is at. We'll find them. We always do. You never find a damn it, because I'm about to be out. That guy's right there. My man, you know you're on the boot list. How much do I owe? Oh, I don't know, but you don't know. You owe guy out for tickets. Just call that number, and you can get it taken care of. You can get on a payment plan. Go oh, not at Filbert, all right? My name's Dick. I'm going to kiss your hand. <laughs> he was in his car and couldn't do nothing about it. He got a Christmas present early. I ain't stupid, man. I'm moving my truck somewhere they don't surf at. I'm a little faster than they are. You know, they're a little slow. They're a little fugazi. If we would have gotten the boot on his vehicle, instead of kissing my hand, he probably would have chopped it off. They're not taking my truck tonight. I'm out. See ya. <laughs> I think he was just trying to propose to her. So. He said as long as I didn't steal his wallet out of the car. Is that what you said, sir? Yes. Well, I don't uh, know. Well, don't accuse us. I'm not. Miss, you have to move your vehicle. It's crime going on all over there, but they want to give me them tickets. That's right. Keep on walking. I'm the only female tow truck driver. This job is hard. This system of Philadelphia is a joke. It's a cat and mouse game. <laughs> Are you enthused about being in Philadelphia? The hell no, I'm ready to get the hell out of here. It's a sad thing when we see out-of-state vehicles really being towed. We're out of towners, now we're paying the Grim Reaper 125. Get a lot of out-of-staters. They don't read the signs right. They get impounded. It's a matter of reading the signs, which is very confusing. Definitely needs some sort of uh, mathematical formula to figure out where the arrows exactly are pointing. <laughs> One pole may have three different signs on it that may say three different things. We just yeah, moved here yesterday. Today. We've only been here 24 hours. Yeah. Wake up, no truck. Truck's not there. <laughs> when you're new, everything's new to you. We're here picking up his truck, which they stole from our new street. Saw the restrictions on the sign, but didn't see the little print that said, no parking from 7 to 9.30 in the morning. Okay, we're going to treat you real nice since it's your second day in Philly. Not even 24 hours. We only got here around 6 o'clock last night. Fine, how do you do, huh? Welcome to Philadelphia. There you go, yeah. baby. I'm going to need your license, registration, insurance. My insurance and registration are in the car. So all I have is my license and a Discover car. I'm going to send you over to your car. When you come back with your registration and insurance, you'll pay for it, and then you'll come back to our window. Thank you. When you move on the street, you got to read the signs. It doesn't have a big sign on a window first day, don't tell me. Now we're better. Helps with the stress of getting your vehicle towed less than 24 hours when you just moved here. Check for your wallet oh. and all. Trust me. We're in Philadelphia. Shh. He's got to go get his wallet so you can pay to get his vehicle out. If the cigar runs out, it's going to get bad. If we run out of cigars, the stress level will go higher. I'm hoping this process is quick and we can get the hell out of here. And now he's cussing. You have to feel the slip out. Can't get money out of my car. No, sir, you can't. Huh? So then I have a credit card. I'll use my credit card. Oh, oh. Give him a vehicle access because he want to get money out, OK? Huh? Do you want to get money out? I'll pay with a credit card. OK, Yolanda. Yes? He says now he'll pay with a credit card. Oh, OK. He want to pay with a credit card now. Okay. The only thing you could get out, sir, is registration and insurance. Anything else you have to sign for. OK? All right. Oh, Say what? No, 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 no. What's wrong?
Yeah. He said as long as I didn't steal his wallet out of the car. Is that what you said, sir? Yes. I don't uh, know if someone took it or not. Well, don't accuse us. I'm not. I just want to get my car out of here. You shouldn't be making statements well, like that, sir. Don't, I'm don't, not even to hear 24 hours of my Don't make statements call. like that on me. Here 24 hours. Whenever someone wants to remove anything out their vehicle other than registration insurance, they have to fill out paperwork. It just covers us. For a guy who's pretty calm and collective, trying my patience. It's ridiculous. I don't want to ever do this again. <laughs> the cigar went out. It needs to be relit. Did you check your car? It's the first thing these people do. Just dig through your car. I'm Just telling you. Please hold this. It's ridiculous. First day? No, this is my credit card. He thought that was my car. All I have is a Discover card. They don't take Discover. So I now have to go back out to my car and be allowed to get my wallet. Next. OK, I went out to my car to get my registration. Right. The woman would not let me get my wallet out of the vehicle so I can pay. Okay, let me see your ID. You just moved here? Yes. I'm not even here 24 hours. How do you like it? <laughs> I like it real well so far. <laughs> How do you say that last name? Votapedia. Votapedia. All right, just take this over to the gate, and you can get your wallet. Back to the gate. Did he say he wanted to get his wallet out? Wow. You just gave him a rain check? Uh-oh. Yeah. You can't do that. Take this over to the gate. Mistakes happen. My lot officer didn't follow proper procedures and give him a vehicle access paper to fill out. The people outside know the procedures. Unfortunately, he has to come back in here and get it paperwork filled out. You can't get your wallet out with this, just like I told you. I yeah. told the man, the, all right. Y Yodi or Yopaya or the young fella, that's exactly what I told. He has my registration and but, insurance card. But you, like I told you before, you have to fill the slip out. You know, if I was him, I'd be pretty ticked off right now. <laughs> Hopefully, he'll get out here soon, though. It should cut you through the front. Do anything. The supervisor is in there, and I spoke to her. I told the man what I needed. That's what he gave me. Why would I go back and get it? He's got my insurance and registration right in there. He's holding it to make copies of it. You see my supervisor up there? In order to get anything besides a registration and insurance out of a car, you have to fill out a long slip. I told him that when I took it back in there, but he said something else at the window. So I can't take him out like that. I'm sorry. Well, man, you backing on again? Yeah. yeah. This is the third time. No way. Yeah. You got to be kidding. Mark called him up front, so he won't have to wait in line all over again. Next. You gave me the wrong paperwork the last time. Yeah, I was rushing. <laughs> Okay. I'm always up for a challenge, and so far, this is a challenge. Now I go back out there. Yeah. Thank you. He said he was in a hurry the last time. That's why he fouled up. It's not a friendly process. The cigar's still burning. That's a good sign. Master car. Don't leave home with that. Don't leave it in your car, either. <laughs> you won't be able to get your car back. Get in line right here. Back here. man. Line's getting longer since I got here. Two hours ago. Hopefully any second now. Up. Next in line. Not over yet. Hold on. I don't know. I think it is. Something coming out of the machine. I think that's the release. Yes! No. There it is. There it is. There it is. Sign right at the next, sir. Benito? That's your release. Score! My first day in Philadelphia... Sucks. ...is rather frustrating. <laughs> Hope we don't get towed tonight. But my cigar saved me. <laughs> if he didn't have the cigar to chomp on, maybe he would have been chomping on his wife's ear. Never got to park on the street again at the wrong time, that's for sure. Time to get started. 
can work in driving beat. I can work in one district to go to another district. And I like to change. I work in different beat areas. Germantown. 22nd Street. Now we're going to Bridge and Midville. You can get really busy writing tickets because they have a deli shop and have some of the best hoagies probably in the city. Whatever it is they put in that food, people are willing to get a ticket for it. You got the buzz zone right there, no stopping anytime. Then across the street, you got the no stopping anytime. Yeah, high noon. This particular block is going to be out of control. <laughs> People try to get into that store to buy hoagies without even thinking that they're in a spot where you're going to get a ticket at. Because they're that hungry, they're that crazy. I don't know. That's how they break out. <laughs> it make me feel like I'm a big sheriff in town. This car's getting a ticket for no stopping any time. People love to eat hokies. Some of them don't realize how much that sandwich gonna cost them after they come back out. Got a ticket. Yeah, you got a ticket because you're in the no stopping, okay? Okay. Now, I just wanted to make you aware of why I'm giving you the ticket. It's like $41 for a hoagie? Yes. I don't think so. They're just good. That is really good. I don't know. I'm going to get my Where you at? That's your right car right here. there? Yeah. I ain't going to lie to you, ma'am. I'm going to have to write you a ticket. Why? Everybody parks there. What's the problem? But that's the problem. Everybody's no, parking there. nothing better to do than write tickets on Miss, people's cars. Miss, you have to move the bill. the first. Why don't y'all go get them people that be beating up on people? That's right. Keep on walking. Can't park it. That's the problem. Everybody do it. And usually that's the case. We got a situation where here we go again across the street. And I'm trying to leave this place, but they won't let me go. As soon as I try to get out, they pull me back in. Oh, you got a ticket, lady. What? You parked in a no stopping any time. Well, how much the ticket is for? Forty one dollars. Chicken salad for forty one dollars. It must have gold flakes on it, right? People want to know why we give tickets in spots like this. It's because of the bus. If he doesn't have enough clearance to turn, you're talking about major traffic issues. I'm interrupted all the time on this side of the street and that side of the street. By the time I get to my car to leave the block, there's another ticket right there. That's how the turnover rate is. You never break my time. I'm gonna be honest with you, I could've wrote you two tickets. This particular ticket was written, it was a safety issue. You blocking a handicap ramp, and you in a no stopping. Five seconds, man. It, it's, it's, this, this is crazy, come on, man. There's nothing I can do, bro. As soon as I go in the store, I'll come right out. You already know he writing the ticket up. But I'm saying you can't give me a break, though, man. Come on, man. Nah, once your tag go win, it's basically a wrap. Man, that's so crazy, man. Oh, no! Oh. I ordered some sandwiches. I'll come out, I got a ticket. This is an emergency. And they should cut people breaks. I, I'm just so upset. I'm gonna get my sandwich and call it a day. People will take a ticket just for a sandwich. Why, I don't know. But it ain't worth it. Believe me when I tell you. Major's food is so good, they're willing to go in for two minutes and pick up their sandwiches. It's mm -hmm. worth taking a chance. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> worth it. But they definitely not that good. Not no $41. It is worth a ticket. I think so. <laughs> you just gotta be aware of where you park at. You don't wanna pay for five hoogies when you only want one. If you want nice sandwiches, you make nice sandwiches. Yeah, I give you that. I haven't got a ticket yet. There's not enough room out there for parking, so. Yeah, just deal with the tickets, I guess. Ah, oh, man, here's another car parked somewhere that ain't supposed to be parked there. And as you can see, it doesn't take that much time for a vehicle to be on violation on the block famous for hopes. I don't know if anybody in there, but it's about to get a ticket. Okay. It's too late. Is your car here? You got a ticket, miss. This is some I went in to get my sandwich, and the RA ordered it. It took two minutes for me to go in and pick it up. It's crime going on all over there, but they want to give me damn tickets. They just want to write people tickets. There's people killing each other, and they writing tickets. $41? My sandwich was $250. $43. $40, $43. For a damn ticket and a sandwich. I'm about to leave this. I hate this city. No, that is not right. Now she gotta pay for that ticket. It's hey, hard. Hey, hey.
You're not mad at me, right? I'm just about to cry. Don't do it, please. I hate the parking authority because they're going to give you a $41 ticket. The sandwich was worth it because the sandwich is good and I'm hungry. She took her chance, like everybody else, getting hoagies from this particular store. My thing is, why? Why even go to the point where you're going to have a ticket that you can't even enjoy? You know, <laughs> you can't put lettuce and tomatoes on a $41 ticket. Hmm. Time for lunch, man. There's no way that I would take the chance to eat one of those hoagies, because I am very famous for writing tickets there. Just give me a regular cheese steak and one of those Nest iced teas. It's comfortable, it's cool, and it's the right place for a cheese steak. Not a hoagie, right? No hoagies, man. Just cheese steaks. Oh, yeah, baby. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh, it's about to be quitting time. Oh, man. Here we go again. The same spot. I'm going to pop out real quick. Can't go nowhere. Yeah, this is no stopping right here. You know, I was here earlier today. You got it, you got it. I got you in there already, bro. Man, thing. I looked for you before I got out. How much is it? $41. Man, what can I say? That's who it is. I got to take it as fate. I'm going to continue my day. As a matter of fact, I'm going to encourage my day by going on with my trip. I'm going straight to Atlantic City, right, and fish in the ocean. Oh, man. <laughs> it happens every day of the week. I would never understand what they put in their food. Maybe, you know, they should be on uh, Food Network or something. <laughs> put my hat on, and I throw my shades on, too, because it's getting hot. Let's see if we can take an assignment. 713, clear one. 713, you take a ride up to 200 North 12th Street. 10 4, 200 North 12th. That's correct, sir. Ma'am. <laughs> Caught me a sir. <laughs> it's all right, I'm used to it. They so used to saying sir, because I'm the only female driver out right now. I had some men tell me you shouldn't be doing that type of job. You need a female, little lady like job. Come on. What in the world? I don't think it's a job out there that's too dangerous for a woman. Just look at me. <laughs> OK, we're going to 200 North 12th for a live stop. Live stop is when they will get stopped and they run your license, your registration and insurance, and it comes back either suspended or that you have neither. And that's when we're dispatched out to the location. The uh, license plate sticker is bad. That's all it was. The reason I stopped him was the registration sticker on this truck was showing March of 08. He had a proper registration in his car that showed the tags were good to March of 09. But I ran him through our police radio system, and his license came back suspended. It's just things happen sometimes. <laughs> the gentleman had his fiance rent the vehicle from Philly Car Share, and some reason or another, she allowed him to drive the vehicle, and his, he was pulled over. <laughs> Well, I would never use my license to rent vehicles for anyone. I barely allow people to drive my vehicle. A lot of women allow men to do things we know in our mind that is wrong. But I wouldn't do it. <laughs> His fiance had rented the vehicle. <laughs> so she's going to be responsible for all the towing and the storage fees. I should get her a present, roses, that's, that's all. <laughs> roses, I don't do roses, they die. Give me something that I can cherish and, you know, sell just in case it don't work out. I, I love this. I shouldn't have said that, but I love this. I have no clue why people drive without a license. If you know how to drive, I mean, it's basic common sense. I mean, it takes a test. A lot of people just don't want to take the time out to do it. Into car jail. So I'm getting my workout today. Getting a little muscles too. <laughs> all righty, all done. I've always had jobs where I had to work hard. 
Before this job, I worked in security. Before that, I did, I worked at a steel plant. When I switched over to tow truck driving, uh, it had my adrenaline pump. And I said, dang, that's something I want to try. You rarely ever see a female tow truck driver out here towing cars and doing, you know, things that I do. The other tow truck drivers, it took them a little while to get used to me. You know how men are sometimes when you come and do their job. What's up? Let me ask you a question. Would you date a female tow truck driver? <laughs> Yeah, well, you look as cute as you do. Damn! If I was single. Okay. Yeah. I love my job. I'm still going to be out here doing what I do best. We have a live stop in the 36th district, ma'am. Time for en route. This job is hard. It could be dangerous, but you have to be safe. 13 on location. Always got to be cautious of your surroundings and everything you do. You don't think I need to stuff up? Or what? I wasn't acting concerned when y'all pulled me over and my daughter's standing right there. We were in concern, sir. Oh, please. I put a crap. He was a carrying a valid registration. He was an unlicensed driver. The insurance that he had expired last month. Y'all was a wonderful cop. You're wonderful. came around a truck and disregarded the stop sign, and that's when we proceeded to stop him. I didn't run the stop sign, sweetheart. Disregarding that stop sign, someone could have got hit. I didn't run the stop sign. That's your word, that's mine. Okay, well, Damn, I seen y'all. I seen y'all. Y'all shot up on me, so y'all see me court, getting out the car. When you go to court, sir, you can dispute it in court, OK? You tell everything to the judge. She filled up your finest. He didn't want to get nothing else out? Yeah, OK. The vehicle is going to be towed, and the owner has to show proof of registration, driver's license, and insurance, go down to traffic court, and dispute it. It's after 2, so he's not going to be able to get this vehicle back until Monday morning. She proud who she what she did today. When the system is put out with the cooks. Once they get pulled over, they know what the outcome is going to be. It's no need to get mad. It's still going to go anyway. No, they doing trying to lock somebody the f up. Sir, we're finished with you at this point. I don't see nobody running around here trying to help nobody get no job. The system of Philadelphia is a joke. It's a cat and mouse game. Enjoy your day. Enjoy yours. A lot of guys. I mean, it's mostly guys. You know, they let their ego get to them. Probably just thought that they was going to get away with it when they see a female. You can yell, scream all day, but if it's a violation, I'm going to tow it. And that's a wrap. He just told me to come two windows yeah. down. There's other people in line. She's taking her sweet ass time. He's got to get to the airport by 5 o'clock. We're about to miss our flight. I already had your tag in, man. Sorry. It's a jungle out there. Great. And I'm the prey. Sir, he gave me an expired insurance card. You're going to have to call your insurance company. The office is closed. What's up, Philly? Don't come to this city. Don't visit. This is not the city of brotherly love. I don't think a lot of people know what to expect when they come to Philly. <laughs> it's not all fun and games here. I'll never come here again. I won't be back in the city. Well, really? Everybody has to put the blame on Philadelphia, but they don't never want to blame themselves for what they did. They are so mad that you can't help them. It's in one ear and right out the other. Mm -hmm. The line is over there. He just told me to come two windows down. All right, well, there's no one working at this window, so you can step over there. The female stated there's no one working here. Apparently, she's not doing nothing. I will never come back up here. They told us in front of the hotel. We parked in front of the hotel to take the luggage in there. And we'll come back out, the car's gone. We're from Atlanta. We're trying to get to the airport now and go home. There's no one working here, and she's not doing nothing. This is crazy. We're about to miss our flight. Our flight's at 5. I don't think we're going to make it, though. 2.35. We're probably going to make it. 
I just know I want to back home. <laughs> this ain't Atlanta. Gotta get away somehow. At least they give you a boot in Atlanta. Here, they take the whole car. Can I help you? Now, you got the rental car, correct? Correct. I'm from Atlanta. I have a 5 o'clock flight. That's why I'm trying to hurry. Oh, OK. Well, let me try and get you out of here as fast as I can. Take this. You're going to get escorted to your car. You're going to grab the rental agreement and the insurance and the registration and just bring it back into me. Do I have to stand back in line? Yes. I have a 5 o'clock flight. I'll try and rush this process, but if there's other people in line, can't let you butt in front of them. Right now, it looks like there's about eight people ahead of him. He's got to get to the airport by 5 o'clock. Let's see how this process goes. When you rented the car, I have my own insurance. You have your own insurance. Correct. You had that card with you? No. You're going to have to call your insurance company and have fax it to you. Damn. Hey, okay, how are you doing today? I need a fax to 215. This is crazy. I need this right ASAP as possible. It's the third time I've been here. It's always something crazy. Brotherly love here, no love here. You either get told, you get a boot. Somebody stole it when I was here. State Farm is faxing over the insurance part. As soon as it comes over, I will call you up here. But when you rent a rental car, you have to have proof of insurance. Right. I don't think a rental car company such as Hertz will allow you to get a car yeah. without insurance. So what else has to be done? I have to wait for the insurance to come over. <laughs> this is going to take him a while to get out of here because now he's got to get the insurance faxed over. You're also going to have a ticket. $41 on the ticket. I'm not coming back here. Philly is. I'm done with it. I won't be back. No man. I will not come back. I won't come back. This is my third time here and my last. I will never come back up here. Atlanta, I'll stay. I ain't coming back. Forever I love Atlanta. <laughs> Philly can forget it. I've been here 45 minutes. To get to the airport, it's going to take him at least a half hour, 45 minutes, and now he's got to wait for the fax. It didn't come over yet. As soon as it comes over, I'll call you back to the window. He has a flight that he needs to catch, but of course, we can't be rushed because we also have to make sure that our job is done correct. He probably won't get out of here until about 4 o'clock. He'll just be making it. Damn. How long is this going to take? What else are you needing? What are you looking for? The effective and the expiration date. It's not on there. Well, it comes from directly from State Farm and their facts. OK, well, I'm going to talk to the supervisor to see if she will okay, accept well, it. Just call, just call the insurance company. You want the number? Damn. <laughs> Yes. Is that acceptable proof of insurance? She checked with the supervisor, I guess, to see if it's a valid insurance statement. This is an activity sheet. They're coded, so. She's taking a sweet ass time. Unfortunately, we don't know whether or not they're saying it's, you know, active or not. If it's expired, they want to fax it. But the only time State Farm would fax us insurance, proof of insurance, is when it's active. So we can take this. What did you find out? She said she'll accept it. <laughs> Don't seem like you're enthused about being at work today. Are you enthused about being in Philadelphia? Hell no, I'm ready to get the hell out of here. Wow. Um, take that over to the gate and then release your vehicle. Thank you. Off we go back to Atlanta. Hopefully this is the last of this. But Philadelphia, we're marking you out of our city of choices. We will not be there. Why is she pulling the car way over there? We can't allow them to rush us, so I tried to take my time to release him correctly so that he can make his flight. Pissed off, upset, a waste of money. A waste guess of my time. I think I dealt with him pretty well, but he was just too pushy for me. We should make it. We got to get ready to go, we're going to be late, for real.
I hope that they got me his flight to make it back to Alabama or Atlanta, wherever he's from. And I hope he had a nice visit in Pennsylvania, Philadelphia. Yes, marking my territory. My name's Mike. And we're down here on South Street. That makes me cool. I mean, these sunglasses are one. <laughs> I'm not much of a city boy, more of a country boy. Pretty much in the woods, like six days a week come hunting season. I hunt deer, turkey, bear, ducks, geese. Boom. Anything except for people. You're driving me wild. I think it's kind of like hunting, I guess. Uh, that's an expired meter. I guess on a scale of the buck system, meter expires like shooting a doe. Easy to come by. The way you rate deer is they count the number of times that they got. No stopper. It's really like a young four point. Fire hydrants are probably like a nice eight pointer. I guess the handicap ticket's gotta be the, the big trophy buck. 10, 12, 13 points. They're definitely the wall hangers. They're the ones that every hunter is in search of. Uh, do I see a deer in the field? Is that flashers? Double four. Second four point. Too late, brother. I already had your tag in, man. Sorry. How much is it? 51. 51. My car was running with my dog in it with the flashers on. Scumbags. Barking scumbags. My dog can do their job. It's a jungle out there. And I'm the prey. You could have parked legally. He'd just be deer in the open field instead. What we got here is multi-space meter parking. They can feed it for two hours at a time, put the money in, print you out a receipt, and then take their seat and put it on your dash, like so, right here. He's got one, but I can't see the time on it. Took a drill bit and cover up the receipt. It says on the machine that you have to display the ticket on your dashboard, and he doesn't have it visibly displayed. You gotta just come down and show me. Technically, it's a ticket, but I noticed that he's working on the roof. Yeah, he's coming on down. Been checking my ticket all day, man. You have to display the ticket. Don't cover up the date and don't cover up the time. Well, I had it in the middle, but when they keep taking the shingles out the back. It says on the machine to display the ticket so it's visible for us to read. I can run down that ladder every two hours for that. Try ticketing me for being a minute coming down a ladder. I was a little angry. The jip. But he didn't actually get a ticket. We're not as harsh as everybody thinks we are. It's a handicap spot. Big old monster buck. He's parked in here and the uh, citizen's not handicapped. This is a $301 ticket, actually. This one also gets called in for a tow. Yeah, I don't want to be here when he comes out. One to go on the 500 block at South 2nd Street. What's the problem? What's wrong? It's a handicap spot, sir. See the signs? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, but it can't park there unless you're handicapped. Oh, I put money, you saw that. Yeah, but it don't matter because it's a handicap spot. You see, I paid money. I put money here. I see that, but it doesn't matter because you're not handicapped. You got to be handicapped to park I in know, this spot. I didn't see it. Sorry, man. Some people will find it confusing. The bottom line is you just really have to read the signs and you're fine. Sir, it means nothing here. I put the money. Sir, it doesn't matter because you're not handicapped. I know. You, you have to be handicapped to park in this spot. I get confused. I see the sign, I park, I put the money. You see that? But listen, you can't park here. It's a, it's a three I didn't hour see it. I saw the guy left. I came in. Yeah, sorry, man. You see that? I'm here. Huh? Instead of hiding, why you don't tell me? That's ridiculous. Everybody always says that we sit there and watch them park. They are hiding somewhere. The people are getting killed around and nobody pay any attention. But if I see it, I write it. That's all it is. They want me to make mistake, make a crime, and then find me. Cannot even take it out. 
I want everybody to pay attention to this guy is a criminal. He did something wrong. I just got a $300 ticket myself. But I was innocent. Yeah. I was innocent. It's just ridiculous, man. The guy saw him he saw me. in his car. He saw me. I parked. It, it appears like he's hunted him down. He watched the whole thing. I'm trying to be as fair as I can be. Uh, that guy got a $300 ticket. He's not happy. Uh-oh, we got deer in the field, deer in the field. Fire hydrant. What is that? We parked dudes, it's not cool. Just back it up, we gotta back be- Back it up more? Okay, yeah, cool. you gotta be 15 foot from the house. That's no problem, he's coming back with the keys. All right, man. I didn't even start the ticket yet. We're moving in, just right over there. Well, yeah, we're trying. Hard. Is there like a yellow line that you're not supposed to be on or something? I nah, mean, there's no lines. <laughs> you just How far is too far from the hydrant? You gotta be 15 foot, I mean, measure with your feet. That's what I do. <laughs> I see. Just saved you 51 bucks, man. Thank you. <laughs> this is a no stopper right here. That one's ours, too. Yeah, this one's already got a ticket, though. That one's already got a ticket, Yeah, this man. one's already got a ticket. <laughs> Damn. Sorry, man. Yeah, I'm sorry about That's that. That's OK. We didn't know. It's First time in here. Philly. <laughs> You don't do fine. that down in Kentucky. <laughs> you got everything a handshake and a knot. None of this ticketing stuff. That's why I would like to go to Kentucky if I could. Absolutely. Come visit any time. How is the deer hunting in Kentucky? There's a lot of wild game. Yeah. Turkey, deer, a lot of waterfowl. Yeah. Waterfowl's falling in it. Oh, that's uh, that's why Waterfowl is a challenge. We should have paid more yeah. attention when we pulled up. Sorry about hey. that. Well, it happens. Big city. They're southerners. I feel bad. I really do. <laughs> Dad, move the truck. Yeah, I gave his mom a ticket. Kind of felt really bad about that. We're far enough. Yeah. I paced it up. Yeah, yeah, you're good, man. We're going to get stuff off the truck as quick as we can. <laughs> you got people cursing at you all the time, but they were cool. Southerners are always friendly. I don't know why, but they always are. Kind of why I want to move to the south. Yeehaw. in the club, having a great time, beautiful time. We were at like a party at Moore College. First went to a comedy show. So I'm out with my entourage. It was a real crazy night. That's what we party at, we party people in there. I only was in the club for about an hour, it comes out, no car. <laughs> whole side of the street is missing. And I really feel bad when people are out having dinner, nice time, and when they come out, their car is gone. Okay, sir, this is why your vehicle was towed. Okay. This is not my car. This is my wife's. We came and done it for the wedding. This gentleman is attending a wedding today, and his Lexus is here. It's a friend of mine. It's uh, the wedding of Amato Beraldo. You were uh, parked at a stopping prohibited zone? It says the sign over the two hours okay. from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. I went over there, you know, boom. Okay, you didn't go overtime or anything? No, no. I don't think so. It might be, you know, five minutes late. Okay. But the sign says two hours. Sir, this is the ticket. How much is this? $41, sir. And how much for the tow? $125. Oh, my God. I could have buy no car. OK, I'm going to need your registration and insurance. I just in a car. OK, I'm going to give you a pass. Go across the driveway to that little blue booth right there, wait for the first available officer, and he'll escort you to your vehicle. As long as he has a registration and insurance, we can release his car to him. Tell you, can't believe it. How'd you make out, sir? I look all over. Okay, what you gave me is an expired uh, insurance card. What? You're going to have to call your insurance company and have it faxed over get to Get closer to this. Sir, you can't get out without insurance. My wife must have an apocalypse. Oh, where's okay. your wife? My wife is in the wedding. Sir, you can't get the vehicle out until you give me up-to-date insurance. That's See, you can't get registration without insurance. Sir, you need to present that to me, okay? You can't leave the parking authority without... Insurance? I've got the insurance. But we need to see it, sir. You can call your insurance agent. Here's the number here. I totally can't believe it. I need to know if I got insurance on my car or not. 
The office is closed. Oh, what I gotta do now? What I gotta well, do? Well, where's your wife? Is your wife close by or no, anything? No, she's not. I can fix the insurance tomorrow if you want. No, sir, you can't leave the parking authority without it. Let me go look in the car again. Maybe okay, I'll let find me give you another there. pass. Here you are, sir. He's explaining that it's in his wife's pocketbook, but it's not doing us any good in his wife's pocketbook. He needs to present that to me. You know, God, is the insurance card good? No, the insurance is spider. They said they're closed. You got to call, you know. They give you the time to call, and that's it. I call Tuesday or Monday. How'd you make out? Nothing? Yeah, I look all over. OK. You're going to have to go and find your wife or do something and find that insurance card. I cannot release the vehicle, unfortunately. All right, let me get out of here. OK. Can you come back? We're open till 3 o'clock in the morning. OK. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Have a good day. OK. We cannot release the vehicle, OK, without proper insurance documentation. If he has that information, we're good to go. There he is. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You're back, right? He was here earlier. Now he's back with his wife. They're actually at a wedding. Very big, about 350 people. Did you have it? No, we haven't. I didn't get in the car. Yeah. Oh, OK. <laughs> you believe I called the insurance from the hotel and they answered the phone? The first time I came, I don't have no insurance card. You could have talked with the insurance man over there. I'm not allowed to talk to the insurance company, just the supervisor. I'll give them a call. Let's see if we can get a copy of this agreement. Uh-huh. He's checking on the insurance to see if everything's OK with it. Yes, hi. I had my car towed in Philadelphia. She has the insurance company on the line right now, too. So between the both of them, hopefully someone will be coming across in a few minutes. Uh, she's a Lexus uh, 1999 black. OK, yeah, well, that's what I kind of figured. They will not give me my car until I have proof of my insurance. Yeah. This is my second trip over here. Is it? I've seen you earlier. <laughs> oh, you seen me before? I've been here 100 times today. Oh, my god. OK, thank you. OK, I have a copy of his insurance being faxed over. OK, his insurance is good, but we have to wait until it comes across. Tom, you're done with them. Hello. <laughs> yeah, they said they already got it now, so they don't need you anymore. It's coming, it's coming through. Can I go get my car? I got to wait for the, the fax to come across. How long did the fax it takes? As soon as it comes out of that machine over there. All right, we'll wait. <laughs> how's, how's the wedding, by the way? Well, I mean, if you well, don't we let don't me know. go. We missed the dinner. <laughs> we missed the dinner. Was it a pretty wedding? Yes. Yeah. We weren't at the ceremony that finished. We went to the reception. And that's when this happened. <laughs> so we're going to go back and we'll have dinner, hopefully, if it's not already gone. <laughs> that's it. Why don't you valet your car? <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I used to work for that valet company, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I really need you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is the facts. I got it. Do I got to pay you now for the call? You didn't pay yet? No. All right, go to the cashier and go pay. Well, this time I thought he was done. Right here. How much is this? $125. All right, let me go get my car. Here's the paper. All right, here's your release. You're going to take that over to the booth, and they'll release your car to you. After four hours, we get in the car. <laughs> OK, thank you. All right, have a good wedding. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> happy to see them uh, smiling anyway. It's a happy ending story. Yeah. I'm getting married next year. This will not happen at my wedding. <laughs> Back to the wedding. Bali Park. You going to have free parking at your wedding? Am I going to have free parking? Yeah, there's going to be, there's a lot right near the church. I won't have to worry about nobody getting towed. Sir, this is not going to work. Your driver's license is not recognized here. You could have parked in the loading zone. You could have parked here for 15 minutes. You see a loading zone around here. Do you all outstanding parking tickets? I don't even have any outstanding parking tickets. We have to go. That's unacceptable.
Excuse me, folks. The line goes this way. So anyone with anyone, I'm going to need you to step aside. Only one person per vehicle, please. Just went down to traffic court, saw the judge. Yeah, you can tell when traffic court lets out because the lobby gets extremely full. I am so frustrated. We've been here ever since 9 o'clock. And they got one person behind the damn service booth that's going to serve the whole city of Philadelphia. Who has the child? Please hold the child's hand. Busy to try to keep order. It's the only way to do it. My name is Eli, and I'm from Israel. And about the car to travel in the States. The cops just stop me on the side, and then they ask me for the driver license. I have an Israeli driver license and my passport. Tell me it's not good. Uh, we need to tow your car. They left me on the stand on the road. I told them I'm a tourist. I don't have where to go. Yeah. He had his license and everything. I listened to him. I'm teed off. He asked the judge, well, why'd y'all do this to me? I have all my stuff. He's like, the judge was like, well, sometimes the officer don't know the law. This is no job. That's not fair. Yeah, now I need to pay 75 for the judge and here almost 200. Uh, and for nothing. Can I help you? Registration, insurance, driver's license, and... What do you need? Registration, Oh, it's in my car. Here you go. You take it over to the blue booth right there. Okay. Someone will walk you to your vehicle. Okay. Okay. I don't even know where I need to go, man. In the state of Pennsylvania, you're required to drive with registration, insurance, and a valid driver's license. Uh, ah, I'm going to bring my car back. Get your paperwork and make sure it's up to date and take it back on the inside so they can check it and release your car. Oh, I did not drive. Get it out of the car. That's what they sent you back. What's that? They sent you out here so you could get your paperwork. It's here. It's not in my car. Here, the registration. It's not released, is it? No, sir. You need your registration and your insurance out of your car. Okay, right? I understand. So you could take it back inside and get released. Do you have to go to traffic no. court first? No, I've been to the traffic court already. Okay. Driver's license, please. You have somebody with an American license? No. Uh-oh. You're going to need somebody with an American license. Why? If you own a car, you're required by law to have our license. If you want, you can ask somebody out there if they want to drive the vehicle off. And if not, you're going to have to have somebody with a license come back with you. Then you want to ask me to, to take the car. I need someone with an uh, American driver's license. Wow. He bought the car in January. So he's required by law to get a um, license for whatever state he's living in. What do you mean? Somebody with an American driver's license to get his car. Yeah, I got an American driver's license. I'll help you. OK, thank you. Come on. Hey. Yeah. We need somebody to come back, because if he gets somebody to drive it off from there, so when he gets out of here, he don't have a driver's license. He needs a licensed driver to come back here with him to get okay. the car out. That's good. Honda, the police officer is telling me you're going to have to come back with somebody with the license. Can somebody here do it? Uh, that's what I was suggesting, but he's going to have to come back with somebody with the license. Oh. OK? Well, it's unacceptable. Fine. The police officer just informed me you need to come back with someone with a valid state license to drive your vehicle home. Can I get that key back also, please? Can I speak to the police officer? Sure. Angie, tell him I'd like to talk to you. Hi, how are you? Let me explain something to you. Once the vehicle's registered to you, you have 30 days to get a Pennsylvania driver's license. I'm going to get a Pennsylvania driver's license if I don't have social security. I don't, I don't, only tourist. What I'm telling you is, the car's registered to you. You need a Pennsylvania driver's license to operate that vehicle legally. i just been in the court right now. I showed the judge, the judge, the judge, you know the rule. You know, he told me you can continue driving. 
with this driver license. The judge. What I'm telling you is, your driver's license is not recognized here. Therefore, you need somebody with a driver's license from any one of the 51 states to come here and get your car out of impound. Nobody here, you need somebody that's gonna drive your car at home. This is totally absurd. As far as I'm concerned, he needs to bring back someone that has a valid driver's license to have the car released. Ready for my first customer of the day. I have Israeli driver license, so I have my buddy who's gonna. Oh, he's gonna drive it off. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you have something with your name on it in English? In English. The other side. Other side. Okay. Did you just buy this car? What? Yeah. Did you just? Yeah, you, know, you should get an American license. What do we got, T? He doesn't have an American license, and he just asked him if he could drive his car okay. out for him. How long you been here? How long I been here? Uh, this my whole life. life. No, you were informed to bring somebody back with you. Yeah, yeah, he going to take yeah, home. Yeah, he am. did. He brought him. He Angie, brought him. same guy. <laughs> Sir, this is not going to work. He going to drive my car I don't home. believe it. I'm sorry. I don't believe he's going to drive your car all the way home. Somebody you just met in this spot. No disrespect. The after we leave out the gate is out your hands. You're gonna have to come back with somebody, sir. Hey, One that's of your how you're gonna do it, no. That's no, how you're gonna do it. I'm sorry. No. All right, that's disrespectful. I ain't gonna show him no love. No love. Let me I'm get sorry. my license. No, no love. love. You a real cop. <laughs> I'm not sure who he was. He was probably somebody in the lobby or somebody that's getting his car released. It's a little far-fetched for me to believe that that gentleman's going to drive his car all the way home. They giving him a runaround. All he needed was a licensed driver. I'm the licensed driver. He was going to give me some bread for helping him out. I'm just trying to do a little hustle, you feel me? But they ain't trying to help me out. They ain't trying to help him out, so we got to be out, you dig? You can't keep track of everyone, but in this case, it was obvious that he just found him outside. Good luck, all right, man? Take care. I'm just not gonna let the car get out of here like that. Don't know the words in English to explain you what it feels. Like. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have everything. I came to get my car. He's back. He looks like he got somebody to drive the car here. Yeah, I'm his friend. <laughs> yeah, it's a good friend. All right, well, we got a problem here. And who wrote on this? What? By them writing on this, it made the paperwork invalid. I brought my friend with American driver license to get my car. All right, well, we got a problem here. Somebody wrote on this. By them writing on this, it made the paperwork invalid. Let me explain. I gave the, this paper. But just listen to me, just listen to me. Wherever you got this done at, call them and have them fax one of these over here to us. What's that? So you have to call and have it faxed to us. When I came here before, you told me everything is OK, your registration is OK. I didn't tell you anything. No, you, not you. The other lady, you can bring her. Well, she's not here. I'm waiting on you now, and I'm telling you what you need. But she's here. I saw her. I'm waiting on you now, and I'm telling you what you need to get your vehicle released. That's the fax number. That's the fax number. Somebody wrote in ink on his temporary registration, so it made it invalid. So once he get that fax, he's out of here. Yeah, yeah, if you have the copy, just fax it. Okay, so it should be five minutes, yeah? Okay, thank you. It's been about two o'clock since we told him he had to have it faxed. So, and it hasn't came over yet. Oh, something in the fax. Could it be? That's him, yeah. He's about to be released. Where's your driver? Oh, uh, Kobe. Uh. You take this over to the gate, and someone will walk you to the vehicle. You're out of here. This is so ridiculous. But if you're a tourist here, 
don't take a car and drive because any cop can stop you and tell you your license is not good. I feel bad for them. Like, what if we were over in Israel and Sorry. we were driving and they didn't accept our license? I'm free! <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the heart of Center City, where it's overpopulated, it's crowded, and it's congested. You got people doing construction, you got people doing work, you got people making deliveries. So I make sure I keep traffic flowing so that people can park. I can't have you blocking the street. I have no choice, I have boxes to I understand that, but you have to be in a loading zone. delivering people to find a parking spot. Guys, this is a no stopping. I choose to be courteous and kind as far as I can. If I see you in a car, instead of just going up and writing you, I will try to warn you. I'm sorry. I can't take that ticket back. Yeah, OK. Parker and Johnny just doing their job, but at the same time, I ain't feeling it. It's so to give me a guilt trip all the time. And I actually do feel bad. But like anybody else, I have to make sure my job is done. And there we got a truck over there in the no stopping zone, blocking up traffic, really in a bus zone too. Okay, so we're gonna put anytime unattended, because there's nobody in there. And the poor guy making a dollar, making a living. And look what happened. I like I wonder how they sleep at night. Bunch of <laughs> that's all they are. <laughs> Our job is a job. They see it as harassing them. My job is to make sure the meters are fed, to make sure the inspections are up to date, to make sure you're not in a bus zone, not in a stop zone. Let me check this guy out. I love how they tell me how long they're going to park there for. He's right on the hydrant. And he's in there stopping. Ticket, There's no place to park. You can't not break the law. You know, if you're, see, I'm food delivery service. It's hard to be a delivery guy, service the restaurants, and not get a ticket. Loading zone, all right? Uh -huh. Loading zone. Loading zone. There's, loading zone. They don't give you enough loading zones in the city. There's down here. Down where? There's right down the street, down here. Do you see a loading zone here? This guy's got it parked up. He's parked there. He's parked there. They're parked there. They're parked there. I bet you, you come back in an hour, the same guys are there. Are those people loading, or, or are they just parked there? Because that's what happens. A lot of guys, they stay in the loading zones, and they park there. So again, there's not enough loading zones for people that are really actually loading. They can stay 30 minutes, and if they're still there, then they get a ticket. So the loading zone's designated uh, for 30 minutes, and that's all it takes me is 15 minutes. In 15 minutes, I got this ticket. You could have parked there here for 15 no minutes. Zone. Right here, 15 truck. minutes. Yeah, there was another truck here well, when I pulled in. You See that Wells truck? Spot. He actually can't do his job without getting a ticket. Are you going to give him a ticket? It. He got one. He got one, too. I told you he would. You got to find you I told find you he would get spot. one. Wherever I park to do my job, I'm going to get a parking ticket. And that's the end of it. There are loading zones around here. You just can't pull in the, in the spot and thinking, oh, I'm making a delivery. It's OK. She stands right here because uh, there's no place for anybody to deliver and park. And then the tickets go out. Boom, boom, boom. I didn't write them for the fire hydrant. I wrote them for the no stopping anytime. See, I try to be nice. To the PPA, I, uh, I think you should leave the truck drivers alone the people who are actually delivering and ticket the guys who are parking in the loading zones. He knew he was in the wrong. He knew he shouldn't have been parked there. And the bottom line is he's still parked there. There's a phone. I got to go load somewhere else. Hello. See, I got to go back to the striped bass over there. I got to load again. I'll probably get another ticket because those people will be over there parked instead of loading. He does have a point, but I try to explain myself as best as I can to people. I try to help people out. But there's only so much I can do. You know, I still have a job to do. I got to go. She's going to give me another ticket.
and easy. This is one of our new vehicles with the cameras. It scans all the tags. Makes it a lot easier. It can go a little faster. I like the fact that I'm not doing a damn thing. I don't have to worry about if I could see the tags. It's a lot easier for the camera to see it than me. We are in University City. A lot of sororities, fraternities, all that. I want to go to college. She would do good in college, but she chose to be with the PPA. <laughs> <laughs> you should study psychology. Why? Because <laughs> she's a little psycho herself. <laughs> it's a hit. It's going to take a little bit to get back around because of the traffic. We have to go up two, three blocks. And we have to make a right and go down a block. And we got to go back down three blocks. And then we have to make a left, a right, another right, rather. You turned the wrong way. Oh, I can't help it. All the streets. Yes, you can help it. You could have turned down the street. I told you. But it was there. too far. No, it wasn't. It wasn't far enough. Yes, it was. How much you want to bet? Dollar fifty. All right. Yes. Told you. You owe me a dollar fifty. <laughs> He just pulled up in there. What are you doing to the man's car? Booting his car. He just went down the street. Well, he owes outstanding parking tickets. But you didn't let the man be present while you're doing what you're doing so he can straighten it if out. If he was present, we'd still be doing it. You think that's fair? Yes, I do. You might have run up there and put something on your car, but you like it. You're like the pirates. You're burglarizing people. Give a person a chance to work it out. You're not giving them a chance. You're we gave them. It's not chance. our fault. Uh, it's his fault. Two wrongs don't make it right. Why take his car while he's having lunch or dinner? The guy who the outstanding parking ticket, so this guy doesn't think we should have booted it. I do clean cars, and I can't clean them if they're taking them and locking them down. They're taking away my business. I have to go, though. Everybody got some kind of smack to say. You should give them a chance. Well, we give them six months on each ticket. They get four notices in the mail. How much more of a chance do they want? Now, Bert, guess what? I would like my dollar fifty. That's a bet. Don't, don't Welsh on a bet. Ah, oh, we have a hit. That's some bull. Do you owe outstanding parking tickets? I don't even have any outstanding parking tickets. Not that I know of. You had at least three tickets. You did verify the tag, right? Yeah. What can I pay it now? Do you have an old ticket on you? No. All right, hold on. It looks like they're going on a date and might not be going on a date for a little while. Well. All right, call this number. Tell them you've been booted. And you put in your credit card number. As soon as you do it, they'll call. They'll call us up, and somebody will come out and take the boot off the door. Come out? I still have to wait? It's about an hour. It takes about an hour. Well, so I have to wait an hour? About an hour, yeah. All right, well, here, call this number first and get a ticket number. I'll call up somebody and tell them to be in this general area because you're paying now, all right? I think it's really unfair. I mean, I'm trying to go somewhere, and I'm being prohibited from leaving. He's trying to pay it now to get it released. Hopefully, he gets it off as soon as possible. Did you call that release person? I called somebody. If he's not here, I'm going to call somebody else in a minute, but we have to go. See, they'll put the boot on. But now that I'm trying to get it off, y'all don't have the time. We don't have a key to take it off anyway. I told you I was going if to we had a key. We don't even do that normally, so you should appreciate us. Huh? Well, how, how are you going to say I should appreciate it? No, I, I mean, appreciate us helping you instead of oh, no, saying I, I that do, we're not... I do not, appreciate that. We're not trying to blow you off. If we had a release key, we would stay here and... Wait for you. Wait for but... you. But we don't have the keys to release the boots. You know, they don't have the copies of the tickets. They can't produce a ticket. That's unacceptable. I think there's different levels of realization of being booted. They come up, they're frustrated. I'm pissed. Let it be known. And then there's denial. I paid all my tickets. And then there's sadness. <laughs> it's all right, Poop. It's all right. She'll be all right in a minute. And then there's acceptance. And finally, they just believe us and they ask for help. Why are you telling me that had to be, it had to be handled by a customer service representative? Um, let me call. Transfer to our pay by phone. He was having problems with his phone. Now she's trying her phone to help the citizen out. It went through our system. Seems like it's working out good. 
I appreciate that. All right. Thank Good you luck to you, sir. If I was going out and I saw a boot on my car, I think I'd be a little pissed off. But I'd pay it and try to get on my way as soon as possible, like he is. They can put a boot on, but they can't take a boot off. You know, that's it's just really unfair. We're not out here to cause fights or anything. If he would have came out in time, we would have kindly let him go. Come on, we're going home. I would like my dollar fifty in small bills. <laughs> that dollar fifty. <laughs> <laughs> we out. They impounded my car. It's the Gestapo. This didn't come out of the clear blue sky. Things happened. It's a bit of a cat and mouse game. We have a hit. Miss, don't you cry about this car, miss. <laughs> She's crying. Usually it's after us, after you. I'm only doing my job. That's You're doing your job. All you idiots, just do your job. You want to wear us down. This is bull****. We boot, we write tickets, we feel the power, the pain, the thrust. You eating dust, we the PPA enforcers. You can't mess with us. Uh, Jeff, you want to get out here? No, I don't want to get out. Okay. Yeah, I'll get out here. Okay. I want to get that first ticket, that's all. Then I'll be relaxed. Because then after that, it comes one, answer another, answer another. You need a groove. I like my job. It's not for some people, but um, it, pay, it pays my bills, you know? Today, a day in the life of an officer. <laughs> yep. I've been asked out a couple times. You know, I've, I've gotten a few phone numbers. Um, do you have a phone number? He's a nice looking guy. He's OK. But um, you know, I'm in a relationship right now. But, uh, when you have a girlfriend, you got to control yourself. Beautiful ladies. It's got its perks. It's better than sitting at your house all day playing video games or something, you know? All right, let's go write some tickets. I'm gonna write this guy a ticket. He's in a no stopping bus turns. If he's here, he's not good. This is some bull. That bad. Usually it's F this, F you, you know, see you later. Mark the door, you bunch of jerk off. <laughs> I ain't Mark the door, you hate us. You hate him. We love you. That's okay, we still hate y'all. That guy definitely got a ticket. My personal favorite, I like the meter maid. Yo, meter maid. Meter maid. This is life, man. This is the street. I try to be the nicest guy, but sometimes people don't care who you are. They'll, they'll come at you. No, cheat. One quarter gave me 15 minutes. The other quarter didn't give me anything. Oh, you put money in this one? I put four quarters in it, and three times I got 15 minutes out of the whole thing. I'm just going to take the meter number down. I'm going to bring it in at the end of the day. If you do receive a ticket, you call the number on the bottom of the ticket, give them this meter number, request it as a broken meter, which I'm going to do. They'll see. Something must be wrong here. And then I won't have to go to court? Nah, you, this should all be done over the phone. You definitely won't have to go to court. 
I put uh, one quarter in, nothing. I put another quarter in, it said 15. I put two more dimes in, nothing. And then what happens is, this guy's a nice guy, what happens is uh, you get a parking ticket and it's like you have to pay the 20 bucks because who in the world wants to go? You, you waste three hours because I've been to parking court. It's, it's just, it takes a lot of time off. That's pretty accurate. Thanks. When I help out another citizen, I'm satisfied, you know? Does a meter mechanic. In this block? Yeah. It wasn't registered. Yeah. Okay, let me double check. That was a meter mechanic. What we usually do is we usually hand in slips for that type of thing, but since she was right there and she's in the area, I thought I'd help her out and give her, you know, give her more work. <laughs> give her more work. Hi! They gave me a ticket. They gave me a ticket. Just like, you know, I don't know if it was you, you said they wouldn't give me a ticket. Then the lady comes by and says to call a certain number. They said to call another number. I've been on hold for 20 friggin' minutes. This is bullshit. I, sir. No, this is bull. It is, yeah. It's Come ridiculous. On. You just want to wear me down, so I pay the goddamn I 28 told, bucks. I told you. This is bull. <laughs> I told you you might receive a ticket. I did. Yeah, and that. then you told you gave me a number, and then the lady there gave me a friggin' number. I'm only doing my job. That's You're doing your job. All you idiots just do your job. You want to wear us down. I'm getting screwed because I'm I'm the consumer. What am I supposed to do? See, everybody's cheering me. I could be mayor of this damn town. <laughs> This is this is what I can do. I can tell you to call the number on the bottom, give them the meter number, tell them the meter's broken. It happens How every day. How am I supposed to tell them? Nobody's curse. coming on. You're on hold. I'm on hold. I've been on hold for a half hour. Why isn't anybody answering this crap? <laughs> and all you can do is laugh. Well, you're acting, you're acting really, you know, insane. Oh, why don't I just pay you the $26? No. I'm, go I'm going to let you go. You got to deal with that. That's you're your responsibility. You're not going to tell me what number to That's call. You're not going to tell me what to do. I told you what number to call. The number on the bottom of the ticket. This is bull I already told you what you got to do. Well, I'm doing it. Well, I didn't do it. Then right. you have another freaking number? You have, an you have a nice day, sir. All right. Take care. See, I'm screwed. What can I do? I'm at their mercy. You know, he don't, he don't want to hear what I have to say, and what I have to say is only going to help him. No, cheat. You know I'm right. The meter was busted. Yeah. Why would I rip off the seat? I don't know, and I'm going to help you out the best I can. But Why are you not helping me out? That's all the information I can give you. That's all you know? Yeah. Do you even have a high school degree? Yeah, I do. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I've been on hold a half yeah. hour now. You Sorry, happy? I got I got a patrol. You, you, you got to take care of your responsibilities. We know that. This is bull All right, time to load up. You got 12, Garfield. All right. My name is Sherry Royal. I work at the booting department. Sherry is my partner. She watches my back. We work well together. We get the hits, Sherry finds them on a computer, and I boot them. Most of the time, we bring about 13 devices with us. And hopefully, we can get all these boots. Are you ready to boot? Yes. All right, we're on a roll. Here they come to the neighborhood. Clock is ticking. They're going to get you good. They're going to get you good. In order to get the boot, you have to have at least three unpaid tickets. Every vehicle we come across, I'm looking at all the plates, putting it in a computer. And when it comes up a hit on the screen, it says the license plate, and underneath it, it says boot. We have a hit. I'm watching his back to make sure no one runs up on him. Gonna get you good. Uh, wow. You gotta be fast getting the boot on and hopefully fast getting away, too. Because sometimes a situation can turn ugly and violent. He wants me to call him Steve, but I don't really like Steve, so I call him Bartville. Out of respect, that's his last name, and he's older, and I like Bartville. You remember Garfield the cat? They don't get you good. I think those are the fastest fingers in the East. I probably get type 1400 plates, sometime a thousand. Day by day, it varies. You have to really be a little bit sneaky because 
a lot of the people out here are very aware that they're on the boot list and they tend to watch their cars pretty carefully. So it's a bit of a cat and mouse game. George Mary Brown, 8-1. George Frank, 90. We have a hit. We're going to walk over there so we don't have to go around the block and or tip our hand by backing all the way down to the entrance of this little cul-de-sac thing over here. It's a brand new boot, freshly painted. And the one thing about brand new boots is they go on real easily. That's my baby. Don't know what she got until you lose it. You know, actually what we'll do is we'll call it in and see if they want us to tell it because it is an H&H, &H, which is a heavy hitter which means they owe over $700. So we'll see if they want to grab this one up while we're here. I'm allowed to get my belongings in the car, am I? Yeah, I don't All think right. they're going to tow it. I'm not for sure, though. Yeah, they're going to tow it. Get what you want out of it. OK. 10-4, ma'am, uh, are you going to send a truck, or you have a release person? Uh, it's 10-4, ma'am. Okay, they really want to get that vehicle out of here because it is a heavy hitter. So we'll wait for the tow truck. Hopefully it won't take too long because this kind of bogs down our day a little bit. 37, man. They gave me an assignment. 500 South 18. We are trying to get to a heavy hitter. 10-4. Here we, here we, here we My name is Martin Anderson. I'm a Philadelphia tow truck driver. I won't say I'm the best. I won't take that credit. I won't take that title. Now nah, I'm the best. <laughs> I'm the best. It's all about your charm. For every car that I tow, when I get into the lot, uh, I get down on the ground and I do 25 push-ups. The ladies are going to love it. They're going to love it. Yes, they are. There you go. Oh, I know I'm sexy. I know. I look at them every day. I'm sexy. I'm, I'm, I'm very sexy. Thank you. Which one, Garfield? This one. Is that one. Yeah, I just want to see one minute because I want to take it and roll with it. I don't... Yeah, well, the owner already came out, but we didn't tell her she was going to be towed because we didn't know. Call out of through. tickets. Yeah, it's heavy hitter. He's going to assess how he's got to get this because he really wants to just grab it and roll. So is he going to take it, Garfield? He's going to take it. Hey, cutie. This vehicle has been here for a while. This car is pushing two years without even being registered. So my guess is that the vehicle doesn't even work. I don't know what she's trying to hold on to it for. Probably sentimental values. I don't know. Somebody gave it to her. I don't know. But we're going to take it. Y'all not taking this one. Oh, that's my baby. My, my baby. I think that guy towing it because it's over 700 Over $700. Yeah. OK, whatever the region it is, I knew they were going to tow it. <laughs> uh, miss, don't you cry about this car, it's, miss. It's, it's all right, boo. It's all right, boo. It's all right. Miss, don't, worry. don't cry about this car, no, miss. No, it's all right. She'll be all right in a minute. She's crying, man. She's crying. I worked so hard. OK, all right, all right, boo. It's all right. Wow. Now, the car is running, right? So you can take it out of there, or you can tow oh, it out of there? Actually, it hasn't been running. Yeah, well. You know. She did a lot of work in this car. That's why she feels so attached and sentimental. We we'll, we'll like fine. pets. <laughs> but, you know, we feel fortunate. That's her Benz. That's my vehicle. Hey, what car would you rather have? The black one or the white one? White one. She want the black one. The lady in this one? Yeah, she, cry she crying over it. No, she was crying. Really? Unbelievable. What, y'all taking the car? Yeah, but she got the white Benz. This mother don't even work. Must be sentimental. Exactly my point. Sentimental. Yeah, it's hard to let go. The firstborn. <laughs> let me give my baby a kiss. I'll be back for you. She crying already. Oh, she'll be fine. <laughs> she'll be fine. We taking it to car heaven. We're going to read his eulogy and ashes to ashes. Yeah. Rest oh, in peace. Boy. All right, well, farewell. I love you. You don't know what you got until you lose it, lose it. <laughs> In this
this situation, the people weren't really angry. They understood that um, it had to be towed because of the amount of money owed on it. This one worked out well. My car got arrested. They took it and tow first and ask questions later. Oh, come on. You don't know where my car is. I can't do nothing about that. Philadelphia's a bull town with a bull ticket hustle. It's nice to be hectic because it's part of the holidays, and it's also a Friday. Friday's crazy. We're victimized. Yeah, we're victimized. Not only they took my purse, my phone, everything I have. It's rough seeing someone lose Usually when I'm at the window for a while, I'll have a headache. You're gonna have to wait. I do have your stuff, but you have to wait like everyone else does. My name is Maria Gomez. I'm a lot officer. Listen, when they took my car, I was with a disabled person, okay? I know people. I can read someone. I don't even have to speak their language and I can read them very well. Since when did a loading zone become a tollway zone? They don't understand this procedures, this documentation. If they don't, they're not getting their car. Can you go to the office and actually get a copy? I don't have that insurance card. But I'll show you the receipt. I'm a state but, employee. But here, I need documentation. Now, I've been on hold for mm -hmm. the last 25 minutes with my insurance company. You... Here, you, listen to the phone. Yeah, I'm, I'm on hold. And I, I they got, they're going to keep me on hold. It's, it's Labor Day weekend for whatever reason. Oh, did you clip? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm working hard on the grind all the time, trying to get my, get my life ain't easy. I'm sorry, instinctively, I... Oh! I'm gonna cry. All right, but sir, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a state employee. I need documentation. I need the I'm gonna cry. Baby, look. That's not my phone. I can't just, you know, continuously use Sir, his, his phone. I cannot I'm, do it at the end with break. the six part. I need a break. I'm Everybody here. Everybody needs a break. No, I'm telling you straight up. My car's is short. How far is Allstate from here? Say <laughs> what? How far is it from? Can you go to the office uh, and actually get a copy? Because um, this is unfortunately Memorial Day weekend. I, I doubt know. very seriously seven if anybody is anywhere right. at ten minutes to seven. Well, sir, that's why I told you a while ago. I told you a while ago that I cannot release a car without documentation, without something's telling me that you have valid insurance. This is insane. This didn't come out of the clear blue sky. This is, things happened. Either you no. ran a red light, you didn't have insurance, you didn't no, have no, registration, no, 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 no. something happened. They this ran the my tags sky. and they took my car because they could, not because of any infraction. The I cannot break the law. Can you understand that I'm not I asking you to break the law, I'm just saying that my problem at this point is Verification. You just killed a half hour of me being on the phone trying to reach my insurance company. Here's my phone. Use it. But I want it back. I'm not going to take your phone. All right. Thank well, you. I could just look at your address and stuff. Yeah, that's true, too. Uh -huh. Because uh, that's how they did it when they took my car. Sir, I'm trying to work with you, but I have many people. Address. This ain't my day. OK, man. You had a good argument. Yeah, but... I would have given it to you. Yeah, but... Driving is a privilege and not a right. But it damn sure is a right for privileged people. And I ain't privileged. It's the Gestapo. It's the Gestapo. <laughs> If somebody is very angry, I, I, I tend to be a little bit kinder to let them understand that this is not a personal thing. Show the hustle. Show the hustle. Where they just be hustling cars in and out, in and out, in and out all day long. This is the only crime in the world where you guilty until proven innocent. They need the paperwork in order to verify that I have active insurance. I don't owe them a penny right now. Not one cent. And they still got my car.
Only driver, everything's gonna be the same. Hi. Remember his face in case he steals my phone, okay? Oh, no, 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 no. Remember her face in case they steal my car. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Good luck, man. Thanks, man. Take care. Take care. I've seen people rant and rave, and what's sad is there's no one there who can really do anything about it. So you might as well talk to the telephone pole. Take five, $596 you want, man. Take it. Take it. Send, send, send fax over the information so I can immediately be on my way. You're going to have to wait. I do have your stuff, but you have to wait like everyone else does. I did a lot of artists already. I see. I truly did. All's well and ends well, and I think she knows that I'm appreciative. Doesn't even say thank you. Hey, what? So I'm grateful. Birds of DMX, there ain't nothing they can do now. <laughs> I got my key. I'm out. <laughs> I'm working hard on the grind all the time, trying to get my, get my life ain't easy Because I'm trying my best not to stress, so I remember that God bless I've been on the other side of the glass, so I try to make it easier for people. And by the time when they leave, they're fine. Damn right. Until the next time, because there's no escaping the traffic violations in Philadelphia. See you soon, maybe. I know that you care. Even when I teach the you feel my despair. And from up there, you reach down and touch us. Life it ain't fair. That's why I'm glad we got you above us, despite our devilish deeds. You still reach out and help. This form is not filled out properly. They're just looking for no, something wrong. Just want more drama, more money? She's saying I was encroaching too far. You parked on the middle of the sidewalk. I'm very cognizant. This is discriminatory. You're not going to give us a hard time. I'm not giving you a hard time. You want a problem? There's a police officer right over there. This is the Philadelphia Parking Authority from hell. And they put you through hell. 240. Oh, I don't know how these people sleep at night. You can't work for Satan and feel good about yourself. I see a lot of people mix their religion in with their car getting released. Why did this have to happen to me when I'm just representing G.O.D.? Yes, he did deliver me. Yes, he did help me to get away from DMV and the hostility. We just had to stand on line for 20 minutes now. We're in the wrong okay. line. Are you going to keep the faith today, hon? I'm going to stay saved. Mother of God, won't you pray for me? This is our fourth hour, fifth hour. We went to the ticket place on Fulbright Street, and now we're winding up here. It's ridiculous. This is what we got stopped for registration. They didn't read the registration card the correct way. Now we're out of a day's worth of work and four hundred dollars. Who knows what we're gonna have to pay here? Hundred and sixty-two dollars and sixty-two cents. I have to make sure I don't get the wrong emotions to arise because he's risen. This is her name. It says Christine, but it also says Christ in E. So test my faith, yes. Test the Christ that's supposed to be in me. When I see my Christine go through this. Are you aware that you have an F-stop on your registration? What does that mean? That you had a lapse in your insurance, or maybe you switched insurance companies or something to that nature. So if you cancel your insurance and go to another insurance company, they don't have to report that, OK, now she has new insurance. Nope, but for some reason, the old insurance company does report it. 
I don't know why they do it that way, but... This is why. So you can go through this whole process and they can get your money. She can't drive it because there's no registration on the vehicle. There's nothing I can do about it. She'll just have to serve her suspension for 90 days. What you could do is we'll give you the tag, you go surrender it, and then get it towed off by a private tow company. I'm going to have to, apparently. All right. You got to go to another location? Yeah. Give me a break. She did purchase new insurance, but for some apparent reason, the new insurance company does not notify PennDOT that you picked up new insurance. It doesn't make sense. I should have been notified. The world should do a lot of things, right? But if they did, it wouldn't be the world. Take that over to the gate, and they'll take your tag off for you. Are they going to charge me for that, too? No. I can't go with my wife. I want her to right now just relax. Can I go then? One of us? Thank you. I appreciate it. Philadelphia Parking Authority, ma'am. She got to go through the process. This is justice. She can have her car, but what she has to do is take her tag and surrender it. I just don't understand how this even makes sense. Why I have to remove my tag, get the vehicle towed to my house, which is going to be another cost, and I just can't drive it off. Why? It could be quite frustrating when they think you have everything done. They towed it over here. Did they tow it off? There's nothing I can do about it. She can't drive with this suspension on her registration. What do you have to do now? We got to give them tags then. How far is that? Where is that? City Line Avenue. What? She'll either have to surrender her tag and bring us back the form showing us that she surrendered, and then get it towed off by a private tool company. And that's $200 right there. How about if I push it? How about if we, I got an idea, sell the car right now, bring a family member. I'll sign it over to them. No registration, no tax, no insurance. No, exactly. Then I can drive it without the tow? They should. They have everything legal. I don't know if I'm going to call it a loophole, but I just looped around it, and I'm out. You know what? I feel like Joe, Egypt has got me bound. But we're going to prevail, and I'll give thanks to Jesus. back. Ten hour day, with no pay, we just pay out. We turned into tax, changed the ownership of the car. Now we've turned around and got new tax. They have no reason now to tell us we can't drive off the lot. We've been to DMV, we've been home, we've been to the bank, we've been to court, we've been here twice. I'm ready to move out the city. These people suck. <laughs> they want you to go through it, just for the hell of it. They love to make your life miserable. Love to make your life miserable. That's why so many people moving out of Philly. You just paid them? Yeah. Let me make hobbies, I'll get you out of here. We're going home. <laughs> no, wait, hold on. You had an F-stop on your car? I send them my tags. You got the receipt that you sent them in? Yeah. You need a tow driver to get this car off the lot. What? For what? Because there's no tags on it. I have tags. Let me see them. The registration says a different name on it. I don't think he knows what he's doing. Whose car is it? That is my sister's car. I sold it. OK. When we release a vehicle, OK, we release a vehicle to the owner. I called. We called, sir, and we asked. The owner's at work. If we have the registration, we have proof that the tags were turned in. And we have a valid license. Can we pull off? And they, they said, said yes. yes. I don't know who you spoke to, but whoever gave you the information gave you incorrect information. We like to release the vehicles to the owner because that way we know who we're giving the vehicle to. Sometimes circumstances call for different things, so we make a determination from that point. OK, so I'll be right back. You got some register? Yeah, it's right here. I guess they think by praying it's going to get their car out, but it's all based by paperwork. No divine intervention at that point. <laughs> what does it say? Can't even read it. Supervisor's trying to say no. Well, he can't. And they spelled the word return wrong. I'm going to question that. Where did you get this done at? It says the information right there. The slips needs to be filled out properly, and it also needs to be dated and signed. I mean, what are you looking for? Everything's there. Just want more drama, more money? Let me tell you what the problem is. This form is not filled out properly. You have no date on it, none of that information's on it. So okay. this here is nothing. I'm not even accepting that. They're just looking for, for no, something wrong. Just, wait, they messed up at the office. Exactly. But we did turn in, sir. She assured us that this pink slip and that would be all we need to show you. But why is that an issue if I'm not even driving off of that, them tags? Why is it an issue? Yeah. Listen to him, Tina. 
This is not correct. This is left for me whether I want to accept it or not. I understand that. I'm going to accept it. It looks like favor has prevailed. Thank you, Lord. All right, just take this over to that gate and I'll release the car to you. Is that the key? Did I hear the drop of a key? Out of here. A soul was saved. They didn't fall into the abyss of the uh, parking authority. I just thank God for wisdom and a way because it's a tangled web that they weave. We have to stay within our rules and guidelines. Even though we're not wrong for doing what we're doing, they're not wrong for feeling the way that they feel. I call this the Red Sea right about now, brother. We are departing. The waters have been lifted. <laughs> At least we can laugh now. 24 hours ago, couldn't crack a smile over this situation. Can you smile, honey? Jeez! Mother of God, won't you pray for me? Need your love to set me free. I'm here patrolling in South Philadelphia. The people from South Philly love South Philly. This is home to them. South Philly's great, except for the parking and the dirt and the killings. Oh, goodness. A week ago, I went on this new beat. Sometimes when you don't know the area, you kind of get lost. So you're going in one street, not the other, and you're like, wow, where am I? My supervisor, Kenny, he's from this neighborhood. My dad grew up in this block right here, and my mom grew up on Greenwood Street. I've spent time here my whole life. Ken's the man around here. Like, he's the mayor in South Philly. Everybody knows Ken. All right, nice to see you, Tom. He'll show me around because he knows the area well. Let's try and get through this block within a half an hour. What do you need? I'll put three quarters in there and only got 30 minutes. Well, they're going to have the same The only trouble. way I could witness it is if you put another quarter in. Oh, it worked. You got another 30 minutes. It only it worked. It. No, it didn't work. You want to put another one in and see if no. that works, too? <laughs> and it didn't give me nothing. People in South Philly, they love to talk. They want to be heard. No, the story is 24th Park here all day. They're very opinionated people. That's how they were raised. This is my first over-the-time limit ticket. Marilyn's a little green, but she has a wonderful personality for this area. Oh, look what he did. So I take my plate off. <laughs> can't put no more tickets. Tickets and the tickets and the tickets, you know. If you take your plate off, they can't read your plate when they drive by so you don't get any food. No one likes tickets. You gave a ticket to someone here in South Philly, it's like, you know, stabbing them in the heart. So, um... Well, Marilyn, you know what we do. We try and work with the residents. Some days you have to be a wise guy, some days you have to be a gentleman. And if you can't play that part, you'll never make it down here. Ma'am. I got a ticket yesterday. I was parked up on a sidewalk. I wasn't taking up any more of the sidewalk. There were 11 vehicles here. I was the one who issued you the ticket. OK. You have a, min, a, a mini BMW. Half of your vehicle was on top of the sidewalk. But this is, this is, this is discriminatory. These cars are all on the sidewalk. As there were yesterday, you singled me out. No, sir. It was not like these vehicles here. Your vehicle was on this side here. <laughs> you parked on the middle of the sidewalk, sir. So what I'm hearing you tell me is based on your discretion, it's a matter of inches. If you don't you don't park your car over here. Your car was right over here. It wasn't on the it wasn't over here halfway. No, you were over here. She's saying I was encroaching too far. I feel as though I was discriminated against. See how these cars all look like they're fine? That's how we try and enforce it, so that people could get by. This is the neighbor's sidewalk. Yes, right? yes. So, so let me understand. That van is up on the sidewalk to about here. Let's say right about here. Well, no, ma'am. I won't say right about there, because it's at least to right here. 
Now you're saying I was parked to here. Yeah. So it's a matter of like six or seven inches. So I Who's gonna be able to walk with your vehicle parked right here? So how far? Because this there is There is no there, there is no way. Uh, so it's a judgment call. Now. If somebody's going by there on a wheelchair or pushing a stroller, they can't even get by. I'm very cognizant I understand of, that. of what access it takes. I understand the law is either you you broke the law or you didn't. Right. Either you're on the side or you're not. not. Right. And according to what you just said, it's not it's discretionary free. then, so... But your car, well, like I said, sir, parked? was on the middle of a Are sidewalk. Obviously, there's been a precedent set here. The reason why they're that way is so cars could go I down the street. I understand the reason. Right. I'm asking you, in your opinion, are they on the sidewalk? And if they are, is that legal or illegal? Technically, it's illegal to be on the sidewalk. You answered my question. You just told me they're parked illegally. We're invited to come to this block and enforce. They didn't want us here. We wouldn't have a job. Sorry, Your explanation isn't help. satisfactory. You just said these cars are parked right. illegally. You said that. Well, I'm not that important that I could just take a ticket back, you know, through word of mouth. You're going to have to call that number on the back of the ticket and schedule a hearing. So I should take a day off from work, lose $200 to save a $41 parking ticket. That's a great suggestion. Try for your inconvenience. Were you here yesterday? Did you see that car? He was so close to the sidewalk, right. he could have got out the passenger side and went on a step. He could have went out the house and yeah. went inside the car. If he yeah, lived he there, was. he could have just hopped inside the car and there. Yeah, door to door. They're going to fight tooth and nail at times, but uh, the decision gets made at the uh, 9th and Filbert. They were totally right on this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, have a good day. Bye. They do think that they're smart than us, but we get them all the time, so. You can run, but you can't hide from the parking authority. <laughs>
to drive quick? No. We let you go before. I'm great, go right now. Okay, no. you want a problem? They There's a police officer up. right over there. They gave me an appointment. I understand that, but you're not going to give us a hard time. You gave I'm us not a hard giving you a hard time. They okay. gave me an appointment. Okay. All right. Well, can I talk to the you're going to have to move back. You can't grab the boot. Can I talk to an officer before you do this? You though? can talk to an officer, you but don't try back, to stop sir. me or I'll call him over. Try to move back. It's on there now. Now the owner has absolutely no choice. He's going to have to take care of his tickets. Sir, listen, I'm going down there to pay right now. I got the money order in my pocket. We let you go before, but you haven't paid. It was crowded. I didn't have an appointment. OK, well, you can walk in there and get an appointment. But right? I got to work today, though. Can I just... OK, I can't, we can't let you go. I got the kids right here taking get... them to daycare, All right, man. look, you got to get down there and make a payment. You want to pay over the phone, you can do that. I can't pay over the phone. OK, well, then you're going to have to get down there. They ain't giving me no break, man. Them, man. Listen, can I get one more shot? We can't let out? you go. We let you go before, and they can't let you go again. That's crazy. I'm just coming to put a boost on people's cars. <laughs> Fat guy sitting in the joint with the AC on, and he holding me way back. Everybody who says, please don't boot my car, we just can't let everybody go. We wouldn't be doing our job if we did that. Nah, they ain't being fair. They can suck a you know what I'm saying? You feel me? I'm out, yo. Yeah. He had this chance. That's an enforcement that needs to be done to keep the streets safer. Watch this guy, Garfield. I'm just going to see if this guy's all right. He's in a really bad spot. Hi, how you doing? You need some help? I went on me. Just blew out. You're in such a bad spot here. I know. I stop and put my lights on and, Thank you know. You. Yeah, because this bridge is... I know. People go, like, Guess what? At all 80 places. miles an hour, yeah. All places. We just turned off of the first street onto the expressway. Then all of a sudden, you get heard, like, a poop, 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 poop. He said, I'm tired. Sure enough, that's what it was. It is kind of scary. People are going whizzing by pretty fast. A good friend of mine's cousin was killed doing just what this guy is doing. So you really do have to watch these people. They put him on with an air gun. Let's see if I can hook it. He's gonna give me a lug wrench, but the one I got won't won't break it. Oh, Garfield. See my long handle wrench there? This? Yeah. Better be careful, Garfield. Right Garfield tries to help people when he can. This is a good Samaritan thing. I think you're good now. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. You're very welcome. Too many times things like this happen and people just drive by like they don't even see. Thank, Thank you. All right, you're welcome. You and everybody talking about the parking authority, man, but this is one time I can say they came to my rescue. Good deeds pay off. You know, I definitely believe in karma. I hope it help us out if we were broken down. If we had a flat tire, Sher Sherry would definitely be standing out there. Because <laughs> I think if they saw me, they might not stop. But if they saw Sherry, they might very well stop. <sighs> Garfield, I don't know what to say about you. <laughs>to get a toad out of here. I just paid you $338. And you're, you're yelling. Yes, I am. I'm getting pretty hot and aggravated. Oh, my God. She's a reckless driver. She might have hit me. I have to issue the ticket. No, Where'd you sneak out of, up there? Where were you hiding behind that wall? I'm not going to argue with you. There they go. They jumping out. They like monsters, man. Everywhere you go. They pick them up every morning. It'd be about nine of them in the van. They ride them through the city, drop them off on corners. One through six block radius. And all they do is ride around, writing tickets. It's ridiculous. It's outrageous. They like monsters. <laughs> 
They hate us. <laughs> in South Philly, the people here are very colorful. Two kind of people in this world. People from South Philly, people that wish they could have been, should have been, never been. That's Larry. Big mouth Larry. <laughs> Everybody's like got an attitude, but that's good. Psych. But most of the people here are very nice. Welcome to South Philly. How you doing? How you doing? How, How you doing? doing? We have plenty of fans of the community. She's one of the nicer ones. How you doing today? How you doing? I mean, we come here and make sure that people don't stay here at Park all day because these people pay for these stickers to put in their cars so that they can have a place to park. That's the way it is in South Philly. Expired meter. Yes. Oh, man. Sorry. You know what? That's your parking all day. Now that's coming out of your pay, right? That's your boss? Just made a bet with this morning, said I guarantee you won't get a ticket. I said, have you ever got a ticket since the time I've been working for you? And he said, no. So today was the day. He I guess he lost his bet. Uh, the boy, you know, they used to just doing their job. He was nice. He knew he was wrong. Sometimes people can say rude things and mean things. They just don't like tickets. Nobody wants to get a ticket. Here's a safety violation over here. He's parked right in front of the hydrant. He shouldn't be parked there because you never know. If it was a fire, every second counts. Sorry, sweetheart. I'm, I'm, I'm issuing you a ticket. You have to, you're gonna wait for this ticket? You know what, it's, it'll be cheaper if you wait for the ticket. That is ridiculous. I was here for two seconds. Right, well, there's a number behind the you ticket. Are if you kidding me. <laughs> I ran in to get a pack of cigarettes. And I if you feel as though you, seconds. I didn't, it would, you, excuse me, two seconds. I'm not taking the like, come on, you had to see me running, and I keep right in. I did not see Where you. Where the hell are you, you here then? Did you fly here? No, I didn't fly. I walked okay, over well, here. Okay, well, you must have saw me pull Street. up and... I'm not thinking of You are unbelievable. Sorry. You really are. Actually, I came down on a parachute. That's how I got down. There's certain people that get a ticket and want to get mad at us because they think that we were waiting for them to go in the store to issue the ticket, which is not true. You have to be responsible for your parking. Here's another ticket. Hmm? Is that your car? No, right, the blue one. The blue one? No, it's not me. Good. He's at a no stopping. He's in front of a fire hydrant. Right? The car's running. How could you do that? Is this your vehicle? This is All I did was stop, get out, ask my mailman one question. He said, hold on. They have to issue the ticket. Yeah. Don't, don't. Give me a ticket. Uh, we'll mail it. It's just going to be an extra penalty on top it's of the one you already have now. It's not fair. My car is running. I'm standing right here. Sir, you were not standing right yes, there. Yes, I, I was. Not I'm see standing you. right there. I didn't see you. I didn't you see you. Know, I came from this end. The car was car. there. Somebody would leave a car running. Somebody would leave a car running. That's what I'm saying. Somebody yeah, people do leave car, car runnings with keys. I can't believe that. I'm not going to argue with you. No, you ain't gonna, Danielle, you're gonna give me another penalty? Give me the ticket. Give me the ticket. Sorry. You can call the number behind the ticket and request a court hearing, but I did not see you. Did you see me? No, I didn't see exactly. you. Exactly. I didn't see you. You didn't see me. Well, I wrote the ticket. As soon as I saw you, I came over and I was like, please don't give me a ticket. You said, oh, well, I already did. Why? Once I punch Why? a tag Why? inside that computer, I cannot take the ticket back. You weren't no where the f did you even just sneak out of? What were you hiding up the street because you didn't come that way? I know you didn't. Because I would have saw you. Where'd you sneak out of? Up there? Who were you hiding behind that floor where you hiding around there? I just pulled up just now to ask my mailman about a question if he was going to deliver a check because we're behind on bills, me and my family. I got a one-month-old and, and a one-year-old at home. So now, I, with this, I, I'm, 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 I, I got nothing to do now. Look, sir, I didn't see you. I wrote the ticket. It's no yeah, stopping. Not me. trying to be mean. You I understand that me. you have bills. As soon and, as I saw you, but I I'm just doing my job. So that, that's it. I got a family. I got, a, I got family to take care of. Forty-one dollars. That's my son's. That's my son's diapers right there. Do you have children? Okay, so now what would happen if somebody took $41 out of your pocket? 
when you know a case of diapers costs $39. Now I can't go put diapers on my children because of you. You can fight the ticket. Huh? Call the number behind the, uh, uh, the ticket. And what? And, and what? just call them. When the, uh, tell them and you want to request a court hearing. And what? Tell them the same story you told me. And you know, and they might just throw it away. You, you never know. They're not going to throw it away. They're going to tell me that you you got what do you got on here? Stopping prohibited. So uh, it's going to be all right. No, it ain't going to be all right. It ain't going to be all right. Go ahead, smile and walk away now. I'm not smiling smile and walking walk away. away. I feel so bad for him. He was at wrong, but he was also upset, and I can understand why he's upset. Because, I mean, I have three children myself, and I'm just feeling, like, a little bit really sad and mad because I keep thinking about his kids' diapers. You know what I mean? And I, he looked like he's really going through something, so I, I do get upset. I mean, I feel bad for the guy. But um, I was just doing my job. See, I'm trying to get over this. Everybody gets upset, you know what I mean? He's gonna get over it. Come on, let's go to the pizza shack. My baby is finally out. I feel like an early birthday gift. I love my car. My car is my woman. Oh, she looks the same as I left her. Yeah, I love my car. Love makes people do weird things. She just told me I had to get a vasectomy to get my car back. <laughs> I mean, I, I actually got towed before, so I've been through this. I know what I'm talking about. I want to help you out. I don't want to keep your car. Like I said, that's why I'm the guy that gives it back. It's extremely hot, Damn, OK? Man. It's like 95 degrees. Humidity makes it 98. You know, so that's how it is. But our car was our wedding present, so it was worth it. We changed insurance companies. And, and there was a, a period of time between the insurance, from one insurance company to another, where our, our registration was suspended. So we just so, and I didn't, I was unaware of it. That's how they do it. We had pulled over and the cop ran me through and saw that and said he's gonna take my car. They told us down that traffic court that we get the car back. It's a 91 Buick Park Avenue. You know, it's got a lot of sentimental value, so. She shines just as good as a Mercedes Benz and a Cadillac. We paid $325 so far. Can't put no price on memory. Memories is inside your heart. I really love you. And I really need you. Can I help you? No. You no. cannot go to that cashier window and bring me back the receipt. $335? Yeah. Tell me the storage is $178. Yeah, $187. No, but I never got a ticket. No, no. You get that car today, you have to pay the full amount. Or you can go to Night and Film Street now and fight it. But I never got a ticket for this. You're not going to release the car and that's paid. I never got a ticket on my car. I'm not paying that ticket. This is the system. It's nothing we can do. Come on, let's go. She had some outstanding tickets before, but if you want to contest a ticket, you got to go down to Filbert Street and fight it. Yeah, I'm going to fight it. I'm not, I'm not paying that ticket. We'll be back. She love that car more than she love me. I'm all right with that, though. So I am going to get it back. I'm not paying that ticket, though. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Here we go again. Deja vu, right? We went and uh, disputed the ticket. We lost. 335.80. Our parents told us it'd be days like this, you know? Money come in this hand, go out that hand. That's the right. I thought you was gonna stand in a stand in line. We gotta go back over here? I told you, that's why, that's why I told you to stay. Oh, she's hotter than fish grease. Extremely hot. Yeah. I think I might just sleep on the couch tonight. 
Oops. Can I help you? All right, you have an F-stop on your vehicle. Harrisburg suspended your registration. I know that. All right, you know you have to surrender your tag first, right? Yes, I right. do. But I can take my car home. No, you have to go take your tag first and surrender it, and you have to get a towed out of here. It's not legal to drive. Are you serious? I got to pay for that? <laughs> yeah, that, that's between oh, you and... Oh, nobody told me that. Now, this is really ridiculous. I mean, this is not funny. This is really not funny. That I just paid you $338. I'm just trying to, to explain it to you now. And you're, you're yelling. I'm yes, trying to, I am. Well, I'm trying no, to explain. No, you just said that. Uh, uh, oh, I'm trying to explain it to you now what you have to do. Your, your registration is suspended. I don't want to hear it no more. I'm serious. I just don't care. So what we got to do, my man? I'm going to give you a paper to go out there to the booth, and they'll get you the tag. You go to surrender your tag. Then you just come back here with your receipts and that surrender slip with a tow truck that you hire. OK. There. All right, let me make copies, and I'm going to get you that letter. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. That got under my skin. I'm, like, shaking right now, by the way. City of Brotherly Love, they give it to you with no grease when they want to. I'm, I'm very frustrated right now. I really am. Now I got to pay. I have no more money, and I got to pay for a tow truck. Excuse me, right. You're not going to charge us extra money while it's here, are you? Each day, yes, they will. You want to still charge me? It's storage fees. <laughs> I don't know how much you know about grand larceny, but we being stuck up with no gun. I'm not charging the I know me and Ned is charging me, right? Why don't you just say it? I'm not. I say it, right? No way. Show that you got balls. I say it. You work for the city. Stop playing. You're absolutely right. All right, then. So we being screwed. You know how it go. I never received anything from Harrisburg telling me anything. Nothing. Take that across to the blue booth over there, and they'll take you. They'll get your tag for you. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know no tow truck. I don't have no tow truck company. I don't have no tow truck money. Lucy is definitely at the end of her route, man. That sucks. I, I don't like seeing people cry, but they'll definitely get it back. I explained it to the guy and all. He knows everything he has to do. He's going to surrender a tag, and they're going to give him a surrender slip to bring back to us. And then he just brings a private tow truck, so he's going to get his car back. Good luck with everything. All right, Brody. Thanks, man. We will definitely be back to get our vehicle. Hopefully, just listen to what I say, and then it'll work for him. No, I got my tags. I'm not too empty-handed. I just got to come back and get a tow truck. You know, it's all about love. It's hot. I'm sweating already. Garfo got me doing all the heavy work. He started moving a little slow, but he be all right once he gets some caffeine in him. What the heck happened to my pen this morning? Oh. Just not with it. Garka, I don't know what to say about you. We got a hit, Garfield. As soon as we turn the corner, we got a hit. Excuse me. They put a letter right here. It said I had 30 days. I just got the letter two days ago. Come on. Yeah, see, ma'am, it's not really anything that we can do. That's stupid for $200? Like, come on. Well, it's three, and three unpaid parking tickets. Like, the city is I can call them and give them they 213 right now. They can get the out my face. For real. Okay, this is escalating into a problem, so I think we're going to try to get out of here. I'm going to the Philadelphia News, because $200 should not get you no boot. They're idiots, and the city is crazy. She had a shirt that said Angel, but she wasn't acting very angel-like. We got the first boot of the day, so hopefully keep rolling along here. It's a pretty productive area. We tend to get a lot of boots out there. Oh, God. <laughs> Sherry just cursed us. I lost my mojo and it ain't coming back. <laughs> you crazy. So far, we're kind of slow. We only have one boot. 
We're not having too much good luck finding anything. Nope. 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 This block is clear. Well, no luck. <laughs> It's like pulling teeth out here today. They're just like nowhere to be found. We have a hit. Finally. He's running, Garfield. He's running. He? OK. Keep on running. You'll get caught. You're just plain stupid. Sherry asked for this area, so I'll blame her first. Oh, Garfield, OK. Blame your innocent partner. <laughs> We have scanned 3,944 oh, tags, Lord. and we only have one boot. Uh, I lost my mojo. <laughs> it's like the weight of the world. Oh, Garfield. OK, I think we got a hit. Yeah, I finally got one. Steve wants to move pretty fast because the windows are down and there's a lot of people out. One of them probably is the owner. I'm trying to get this thing on here. Yeah, he's having a little trouble with the boot. We have a broken boot. Ah, I can't believe this. I hope it don't stay. Damn. It's taking him a while because it's real old boot. I lost my mojo. Be behind me, honking. Which I really don't care about. But what I do care about is getting this thing on here. It's gonna be. This car wasn't worth it. I'll tell you that right now. Excuse me, how long does it take to put a boot in the car? This is ridiculous. Because y'all not the police. This is ridiculous. Until he get the boot on, we have to block off the street. And I'm getting pretty hot and aggravated. But never been a car that I haven't booted that needs booting. She's retreating. I guess she decided I wasn't moving fast enough. By the time she gets to the end of the block, I'll be up the block. So that boot was more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> now she's sitting back down at the end of the block, blocking the street herself. So I don't know what our problem is. Oh my God. That's unnecessary. She's mad at me, that's fine. But you don't drive up the street where there are little children playing at 60 miles an hour because you're mad at me. At least we got that number two boot. So we'll try to get a couple more here. OK, we got two more cars. Right. Car on the corner is a hit. I have two on this block. Maybe I got my mojo back. I was shuffling to the beat. My mojo was on full blast. We have another hit around the corner. Steve is getting his screw back. Yep. We're starting to move. I got another one. We're starting to cook a little bit up here. The groove is back. All right, we got a hit, Garfield. <laughs> this is a water ice truck. Uh oh, there's people sitting on the porch too, so. All right, we'll see. Can we get it? The last boot of the day. It definitely picked up. We got our mojo back. No, I didn't want to get the kids water ice. Come on. <laughs> it's looking kind of like it might be abandoned. He just left it there like oh. three weeks ago. <laughs> but don't make sense for somebody to dump the water ice truck when a lot of kids need water ice. It's like 95 it's degrees. They teasing the kids and they see the truck and there's no water ice. This is no water ice. The neighbors don't seem to like this being parked here, so. This is not the number one water ice truck. Look like number nothing. Water ice is like a slushy snow cone. They got all different flavors. Blueberry! Cherry! I'm a mango man mango. myself. Cherry! It's just good, like heaven in a cup. You talking about water ice, I'm getting kind of thirsty. 
<laughs> Apparently, I just misplaced my mojo. I didn't lose it. It could be trouble. I watched y'all. Y'all snuck back around the block, and then y'all just hopped out on my car. Let me explain. That's not my tag. Supervisor 30, please. The man wants to see you. I had a guy once I said to me, I'm going to pull you by your hair and hit you in the ground. What's the problem with the ticket? Yes, I'm here to get my car. You were parked there longer than 20 minutes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were watching a movie. What did you see? The itty bitty committee. <laughs> We're waiting for the squad to get ready and do roll call, and then we're leaving. Paul Gallagher, where's he at? Paul, let's get going. You're running late. Paul Gallagher, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Gallagher. His name's Turtle. That's why we call him Turtle, because he's a slow motion. All right, let's get going, guys. Come on, let's get out of here. Another day in paradise. And off they go. I love my supervisor. I love you, Luz. I love you, too. All day, I do. Every day. <laughs> this is squad 5B. And this is Turtle. She calls me Turtle. Everybody thinks I walk slow or something. But I got to tell you, I don't miss a trick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this is Paul Beat and Greg's. Let's have a good day. Adios. We're on the 4900 block of Frankfurt Avenue, the hospital. It's not the safest neighborhood in Philadelphia. There's a lot of drugs that go on and prostitution around here. A lot of people around here, you know, don't make a lot of money. Most people care where they park and if, if they get a ticket. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. How you doing? <laughs> I've been down here for a while, so a lot of people know me. That's why I don't get much trouble down here. Paul Gallagher, a great man. He respects the people, he takes care of the people, and he makes sure he do his job right. That's, that's what counts. Tell him, Paul. It pays to pay. I'm just looking for meters right now. Hey, hey. Bye, <laughs> What's up, Chris? How you doing, man? Anything neat? I don't walk too slow. I just go with the flow. Hmm. Do, 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 do. It's the first ticket of the day. How you doing, sir? Oh. 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 Huh. Oh. <laughs> What's the? It's a meter ticket. Sorry about that, sir. Uh, I know. I understand. It hurts. It hurts. Most people are cool. They know I'm just out here doing my job. A meter ticket. I just put a nickel in there. This came out the store as soon as you walked off. I just put a nickel in there because I wasn't going to be in there that long. Well, a nickel six minutes. That's what I'm saying. And I was just out the store. I was standing right there. Well, there's nothing I can do about it now. I mean. How? If I'm standing right there by my car and my car, the meter's not on, how can you give me a ticket for that? Well, it's expired. Yeah, I just came out the store. Well, we can check the meter. Check the meter. Something wrong with the meter. The extra people was I just right there inside that store. I just stood right there. I put a nickel inside the jump. Well, you should have said something. I could have stopped right there. I didn't see that you, I didn't think that you was giving me a ticket. I didn't see you put the violation on there until I walked up to the cart. Well, it's blinking zero. Huh? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but if I'm standing right here in front of my car and I well, didn't I think you gave me a ticket. Uh, I'm just making my patrol. And I, whenever I see a blinking meter, I give the car a ticket. So, so you saying right now, since my car's sitting right here and this meter blinking, you can give me a ticket. While I'm standing right here? No. Because I'm paying attention? Yeah. You call back up, because I want to talk to your manager. This is 224. May I have a line with Supervisor 30, please? Supervisor 30, proceed, sir. I just drew up a meter ticket. The man wants to see you, if it's at all possible, on the 4600 block of Frankfurt Avenue. Tell the citizen if he's willing to wait, I'm going to go back around. 10-4, man. When a ticket writer calls me, 
if they have a situation, a citizen wants to see a supervisor, I take that location, but that doesn't mean I'm going to take the ticket back. I got to roll. She's on her way. She's taking this location. Rules are rules. All I can do is explain them to people. You know, I mean, there's, I can't do any more than that. And they know I can't take the ticket back. It's an everyday thing. They're going to say, oh, they were parking there, and they didn't know they had to feed the meter. That's my guess. He didn't feed the meter. Every day, the same thing. Then it's break time. He'll get over there, he sits down and has a cup of coffee. He'll have a better day later on. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> coffee, please. He was like, hi, honey, I'm home. I said, what do you bring home? <laughs> hey, check on flowers or candy? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> uh? Susie walks in the door, you having a breakfast. Yeah, once in a while. <laughs> Dirty crocodile, Dundee. I just wrote this. Do the ticket down the block. He said he put it. Hey. Yay. Yeah. I wrote him a ticket and he just started complaining about it, you know? My job as a supervisor is making sure 100% that they're writing good tickets and um, keeping them safe. I had a guy one time said to me, I'm going to pull you by your hair and hit you on the ground. My strategy is being professional out here with these people. There they are. Okay. Every day there's something different out here. What's the problem with the ticket? I'm standing right there in front of the Metro. OK. All right, my car is parked right here. I'll put a nickel in it. OK. So I stood there to make sure, I mean, that I knew, I mean, just in case I ran out of minutes for my little cousin, it's too, too long inside the store to get your shoes. OK. So what is the problem with the ticket, then? I put money in it. I was standing right there. OK. I looked down here to pay attention to something that was going on down here. Everybody was looking down here. OK. And then when I turned around, I seen him slide something on my car. He was putting the envelope on your car. He put it right there. He was like, OK. And so that means he walked. And then you noticed it. Yeah, that's I was standing okay. right there. So you're upset because you're getting a ticket. Is that what it is? No, because I okay. asked him, can I get a ticket? If I'm standing right here watching my car, if I'm standing right no, here. No, you can get a ticket, no. but he didn't know this was your vehicle. You want us to take this ticket back? That's it, because if you could, like, I was standing no, right here No, we can't take this ticket back. If you were watching your car, you wouldn't have got this but ticket. But that was me. I looked down here, I'm watching my car. If you knew that this is your car and this is your vehicle and you're watching the car, well, you should have watched him for him not to put the ticket on your car. He was not standing no, 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 right there when he gave me the ticket. Okay, he was but standing over here. When I looked up there, he was standing over here. Normally, the guy was walking right But you right just here. now said to me that this was on your car. Yeah, and then soon when I looked down the street, soon I'm standing okay, right here, I see him. I said, yo, but he already put it on okay, there. Okay, so it's already on there, there, so he can't take this ticket back. You need to call this number in the bottom of the ticket here. Call them, tell them your situation, and you take it from there. But I cannot take this ticket back. No, I'm cool. I'm about to leave. Call the number on that ticket. They'll take care of it. If he was watching that vehicle so carefully, he was entitled for a rescission because he would have caught Paul. But as we see, you know, they're kids. They're young. They run in these stores. They forget about what they're doing. They're just angry because he says he didn't want to pay the $26 for watching his car. You weren't watching it if you got a ticket. Yeah, we, we, that's all, folks. <laughs> all right, we need one more uni wrench. I have water. <laughs> it's going to be warm today. Five locks, and we're all set. I've been doing this job for 24 years. I love working with him. I really hope they keep us together until he retires. I am so looking forward to retirement, it is not funny. In the meantime, I will be the king until my tenure ends, and then Sherry will take over for me. Well, I don't know about that, I guess. <laughs> Basically, what we do is drive up and down different streets. Sherry will type in the tags, and the uh, information is sent back to us. We have a hit. We're going to try to get it. Sometimes, when they see us, they jump in a car. This is like the main drag, 52nd Street. Sometimes, I tend to forget how dangerous this job is. Adrenaline starts pumping. You start wondering if you're going to get it or somebody's going to come out. It's always a threat of balance. You gotta be fast. Hopefully fast getting away, too. 
this one is a Buick. But we're trying to hurry up to get the device on before they come out. I'm watching his bag to make sure no one runs up on him. And I'm looking at everything around us to make sure he's safe while he's putting the boot on. They could be in trouble. Okay, you being booted. That's 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 this, this, this is my car. This is this is my car though. I understand that. That's my sir, car though. Parking ticket. The car ain't even works. I just got it from the auction. I'm waiting for my title. This is my sister's tag. Well, whoever you got the tags from, they owe parking tickets. I can take the tag off. You that's not my tag. Road. You're gonna have to straighten that out down nice and filbert. This is not even registered plate. You car, cannot do that. This car, I'm waiting for my title. I put a tag on it so I can wait for my, so my title to come back. The car's in my name. The tag is not in my name. The tag don't even go to the well, car. The tag, so how do you put a boot up. on the car that the tag when don't go to? When we run the tags, it come a boot. You're going to have to straighten to it out with But it don't come up to the car. I understand that. You're going to have to straighten it out with your right. Sorry, because y'all just booted my car for nothing. Well, he's pretty agitated. Yeah. That's not my tag. I understand that. But you're going to have to go to 9th and Filbert and straighten that out. How I got to do that? Let me explain. If I go down there, they're going to tell me I got to pay tickets for the tag now. No, no. And I ain't got a ticket on this car from that tag. If you'll calm down, I'll explain it to you. I watched y'all. Y'all snuck back around the block, and then y'all just hopped out on my car. Sir. I'm watching y'all because I was about to come move it because I see what y'all was doing. We didn't know your car was a hit until it came back on the computer. We were already up around the block. I'm waiting for a title. Come here and let me show you something. All we can do is run the tag that's on the car. All right, well, can you, can, so can, what can, you gotta do, I'll explain what you gotta do. You don't have to pay anything. Nobody's asking you to pay somebody else's ticket, but you have to show them in the court that you bought this car. See, I gotta go to a courtroom and everything, see? You don't that's have to so go to a regular court. You go down to 9th and Filbert, they'll run the tag that was on the car, they'll see that it was not you, and they're not gonna make you pay somebody else's ticket. Yeah, they got a little upset. They claiming it's not the tags. Hopefully, Garfield can get through and calm them down. The car will stay here. You have time to go get it today. If you take care of that, you do not have to have it registered. But you got 30 days to have a car on the street. It says I, it on my paper. We got 30 days to have a car on the street. I understand that, and I'm not arguing that. When y'all punched up his tag, what came up? Look, all this shows is the license plate. This is just a laptop computer. All it has is tags in it and whether they should be booted or not. But that tag is not my name. What he's saying, and I can understand, if he just running by, he see the, the, the tag number and no make a model on it, then he, he just jumping out and say tag boot or no boot. So I can understand. It ain't really him. He doing his job. They done jacked the system up. Right. So they jam you up. So they're like, yeah. you can argue with him all day. He has no authority has to no do anything. Yeah, I know he don't have no authority. So therefore, it's just the plain I, I see. Oh, I know. Right. Oh. I know. And on Lancaster Avenue, we have law classes that teach you and educate you about these situations so that you don't have to get into them. And if you do get into them, it costs you zero to get out of them. Legally, as long as you bought the car, that's fine. But you're going to have to sometime get it registered. Well, that's, 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 that's why I'm waiting for the title on the mail. You know, it's well, that's why six weeks. You need to get a sign on there saying "waiting for tags." Make a copy of your pink slip or whatever, so that you can leave the car on the street. But if you're if you're putting somebody else's tags on there, you don't know the history of that tag. I got a boot for her tag. For her tag. Well, it's a shame that she didn't say. Look, I got tickets. Don't put that tag on the car. Well, we're getting the boot on, and we're going to lock it up, and he's going to have to get it registered. I don't owe no parking tickets, but I got a boot on my car. There's definitely a difference between legal and law, and what's happening here is legality. It's paperwork. You have this company contracted with the city, assuming authority. Now you have a catch-22 with this brother here, Put the car out on the street, no plate. We gonna take it because it don't got a plate. You put a plate on there, they booted it because unlawful display of plate. You get the car from them, they take it right back from you, man. I feel bad for the guy because he bought the car legitimately from an auction, but you gotta get it registered. These kind of things are a funny gray area that needs to be worked out uh, so that we can flourish and build, keep the morale going instead of hurting the working class. It's hard out here for people, man. If you don't do nothing about it but complain, 
then you don't get nothing. Now, so take your pink slip down and show them you just wore it. It was a little intimidating. The guy was pretty angry, but we calmed the situation down. And, you know, with eight or nine guys who were all agitated, this could have turned into something where we would need police. I gotta go down there now, huh? Yeah, I gotta go down there now, huh? And when you go in there, just tell them you want a boot hearing, and they'll hear you right away. Oh. If he don't take care of it by tonight, they will tow it by tonight. In my view, there are some flaws in the system, but we don't have the ability to change those flaws. And all we can do is the best help them understand that even though the system is flawed, it can be handled without anybody getting hurt. Okay, here you are, sir. This is Saturday night, it's date night. So there's gonna be a lot of people from out of town here. We're from New York, uh, visiting for the weekend, had a lovely dinner, and came back and the car wasn't there. Might stay busy for about an hour, two hours straight. <laughs> we were gonna come back to the car, but it was gone. Yeah, I think they brought us together. You know, one ticket at a time, that's what they do. We were having a great evening. We were having a wonderful evening. We were celebrating our anniversary. Uh, yeah. Can I help? Yes, I'm here to get my car. Registration shows in the car? Yeah. My first thought was it was stolen, and then I thought, okay, maybe they towed it. And luckily we ran into the parking authority officer because otherwise I was ready to call the police. I expected her to be able to read that sign being that she's from Philadelphia and she parks work worse than I do. I'm so mad. <laughs> the movie was $10 each. Dinner was, I don't know, $40 for two. So it's uh, $125. Yeah. I guess that's the fine. We, we were having a great evening. We were having a wonderful evening. Miss, this is just receipt. It's a $31 ticket. We have 15 minutes a day to pay it. You don't have to pay it tonight. Oh, good. You can pay it online. Wait telephone. a minute, I just paid it. I paid $125. No, $125 was just a towing fee. So oh, you don't have to come back. Man. You were parked there longer than 20 minutes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were watching a movie. What did you say? The itty bitty <laughs> committee. That has to like my kind of movie. Right? <laughs> the Gay and Lesbian Film Festival is the best. <laughs> the itty bitty committee. I wasn't expecting that, but you know, you can expect the unexpected here anytime, any given time. I'll take you over here. Okay, you have to pay the cash here first. Let's see when it's over, then bring me the receipt, okay? See, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> The favorite thing about my job are the female customers. Tonight, I might meet my future wife. I'm nice. Yeah, you are nice. But, you know, you still gotta find Come on, that's my, look, my sciatic nerve acting up, look. Yes, what? Sciatic nerve, that's a nerve in your ass. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I'm just making sure I heard what you said, that's all. Maybe it's a crime that you were so fine. It's like nonstop. <laughs> It's like a, a cornucopia of women. <laughs> well, we went to Penn's Land and enjoyed this nice day. And five minutes later, we walked to the bridge, walked back because it was crowded, and the car was gone. I'll take you over here, sweetie, okay? I think we've been walking for about two hours. It's now turned day, nighttime. I thought this was a free country. We should be able to park anywhere. Something needs to be done. So what were you doing today? I just walked like 60 blocks. They took about 15 cars while we was walking down here. They took my Mercedes. And I'm upset. I love that car. You gotta see it. I love how many men I get from it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> They think that I can do something for them. I might flirt with them for a little bit, but I still let them know that it's still business that we have to do. You know, they still want to change number afterwards, then we can do that too. And what you got the glitter on his mouth for? That's popcorn. <laughs> Ain't no popcorn glitter, big. That's glitter? That's glitter on this side. I don't know where that came from. You was kissing on somebody on your break? <laughs> uh, is your receipt? How much is my ticket now? It's a $41 ticket. You don't have to pay that today. You have 15 business days to pay this, okay? You can pay over line on top. I hope you pay it. Don't even worry about it. I'm gonna get that glitter off your mouth, please. All right. <laughs> Crazy. All right, sweetie. All right, thanks. All right, take it easy. 
Yeah, that happens about a few times a week, pretty much. I love to flirt with the ladies, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was just flirting to get my ticket down. Use what you got to get what you want. But it didn't help, because I wound up still paying the whole price. Hey. All right, you can come with me. The guy that was giving me the ticket, he was very cute. And then he told the car away. After I just told him, don't tow that car away when I leave. Uh, I seen them earlier, and they asked me about their vehicle or whatever. And um, this was around two, three hours ago, and they just getting their car back, so. I would have rather paid the ticket for $125 than a walk and get the car and still have an extra ticket after paying $125. There y'all go. There y'all go. Look, look, he's the one. He's the one. I apologize. I can't give y'all a ride. Bye. I can't believe that. They walked all that way. Mm. They do for a shower. It's nothing really to get into tonight. Like I said, I'll probably just go and watch a movie and call it a night. And well, yeah, I did get one movie recommendation tonight. Um, <laughs> the Itty Bitty <laughs> Committee. Um, <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to see that tonight. I'm probably leaning more towards uh, Bruce Willis Die Hard or something like that. So I'm leaning more towards you know? <laughs> supposed to be parked in the bus stop at all. I was right there. I'm sorry, but this is a safety violation. You need to fight it, honey. I cannot take it back. Huh? It's my friend's car, and she's going to absolutely flip. She's not too happy right now. But when you're driving without a license, this is what happens. I left my keys in the back of the cab. My dad's lost. I don't know where you are. I'm not standing out in the middle of the street. Call them, have them fax it over to us. It's not even ringing. And that's where it starts, a million phone calls first thing in the morning. I had to call my buddy Tyler. <laughs> I'm just driving him today. <laughs> I've called him four times already. I don't know why he won't pick up the phone. Just had to keep trying. People are freaking out, making phone calls to friends and family. They have nothing to really worry about. I mean, we're going to take care of them when they come down here. It's going to happen to everybody. Patience is a key here, really. All right, bye. I'm here because my car was towed while I was trying to get my passport. <laughs> I realized I had left my keys to my car in the back of the cab on the way here. My spare set's in Delaware, and my insurance card is locked in the car. <laughs> my dad is the only one who knew where the spare set was, so he had to drive all the way out here. The people have had longer waits for insurance. She was only towed this day at the noon. I just picked the seat in current registration insurance, and she'll be good to go. I'm now stuck here. Until my spare set, which is in Delaware, over an hour away, gets here. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> my dad lost the front street exit. <laughs> Apparently it doesn't exist. So I asked this guy who works here to talk to him because now my dad's not a happy camper. <laughs> Morgan Abbey, you know where that's at? Well, okay. My dad is not a chill guy. <laughs> He's aggravated right now. That combination with his personality, not good. Thank you so much. Where is he at now? He's down there, but he's caught in traffic. I don't know! Obviously, if you can't see me, it's on the opposite side of where you are. I'm not walking out to the street. Do you see the sign? It's a big blue building under a big sign. Does this street have a name, sir? So I've come up to the first street before Delray. If you see the barbed wire fences, turn there. I don't understand. How the hell did you get on Columbus Boulevard? I don't know where you are. I don't know where he is. Don't you want to stay on 
the phone with me so I can figure out where you are? Or do you want to just keep hanging up on me and screaming at me? I'm not walking out the street so you can come find me. It's on the back side of UPS. I'm not standing out in the middle of the street. Okay? You... No, because it's like three blocks away. You just passed me. Turn around and make a left. It's on the back side of UPS. Make a left. Thank you so much. Thank you. Drove 52 miles for, all the way up from Delaware to help her out of this jam. Then the people give me the wrong directions. Then it took me another hour and a half because I had to go up and make a U-turn in the middle of a rush hour. You got everything? Everything I think I need. You should have no problem now. I don't have a problem. I just want to <laughs> leave. <laughs> well, good luck. Thank you. All I need to do is show you this and this. I've already paid. Give me more card. You just take it out, though. Well, yeah, but just don't make me wait in line or anything. I've already been here for two hours. Do you have another card on you? This one's expired. Well, I don't have any more on me. All right, you can call Chris Schwartz and have them fax it over. Are you kidding me? I need that to release it. All right, well, let me walk back out to my car and get my cell phone and do that for you. There's a pay phone over there. Or a saber, walk. You know what I want, Philadelphia fans are so obnoxious because they have to deal with all this bull every day. All right, Kristen. They wonder why they, they throw snowballs at Santa Claus, like yeah, everything. I know, I'm just frustrated over the And of course, a 21-year-old, everything's in New York Minute, too. It's not a New York Minute, I've been here for two hours. I've been looking for you for two hours. <laughs> for information, press one. I don't want to choose one of the following. I want to speak to a representative. Press one. For general information, press one. What? Hi. To obtain information, press two. What? For information, press three. Are you kidding me? If you wish to speak to a customer representative, yes. Press zero. Can you fax the paperwork? Now, I can't have them fax it over until his name, who is the primary policy holder, speaks to them. Attention of Philadelphia Parking Authority, I presume. So if he wasn't here, I would have never been able to get my car out. Well, at least we got a cooperating insurance company. They're going to five to ten Thank minutes God. fax over. Five to ten minutes? There you go, your New York Minute. Five to ten minutes is Look, too guys, long. I've been here for hours. Kristen, they got to bleep that out. <laughs> All right, you got my fax? No. It is a waiting game. I'm hungry, I'm tired, and I just want to go home. I got here at 1. It's 514 right now. Take just right outside to the guard booth to let you drive off the lot. That's all you need. Good? Yep. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. Let me out. <laughs> My dad did come through. We love each other. He just gets cranky with me. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. My lovely daughter, Brianna. Say hi. My princess right there. This gorgeous girl right here. This is my lovely, beautiful wife, Diana. <laughs> I'm going to work. Hi. Hopefully it's a busy day. I like working. What you going to do, man? What's your game plan, man? Full pension, benefits, good pay. Five years later, I'm still doing it. I like the job. Oh, that's good for my family. 41, this will be 2900 D. David. All right, 10 for 2900 D. David Street. I'm a root. Just answered up for a live stop. When we get called to a live stop, it's a tow car. We have to take it no matter what. When the live stop, police pulled the vehicle over for a violation. They found that either they have a suspended license or no license, no registration. So they call us and we'll go down and we'll pick up the car. Should be right here. 
my friend's car. Because the car is registered to her, it has to be released to her. <laughs> There's a fee from the parking authority for the towing itself and for the storage. How much does that usually cost around? 135 for the tow, 1175 for the first five days of storage. If you don't get it out in five days, it's going to go up to $20 a day. No, I'll have it out tomorrow. She hit a parked car back here. We just stopped and see if she was OK, and come to find out she had a no license, no valid insurance card either. I turned, and when I turned, I turned too close, and he was right behind me. We have two kids in school that got to be picked up today. I'm still in my pajamas. I'm supposed to be out picking up toilet paper. She's not too happy right now. But when you're driving somebody's car, we're now licensed. This is what happens. I know how to drive. I just don't have no proof of driving. Now she has to go to court. She has to take the owner to court, which has nothing to do with this. So it's going to be a big process to get her car out now. I don't think they should just automatically tow it. Please let the owner of the car have a chance to come out and get it. Now I have to go home and explain it to her. Like, I got pulled over and your car is stuck in. Like, she's going to absolutely flip. situation she hit a car and she got pulled over and she's driving with no license no insurance the person getting hit is going to pay the price not the person that's you know hit somebody that's why we do live stops with every police department we're out there helping get these people that are illegal off the street that's just called in again 3100 north franklin 41 on location another live stop police pulled somebody over we're going to pick up this car stop sign that's blocked right there. I have insurance, I have a driver's license, but my registration I just got the title for, I didn't get a chance to get to the tag place yet. And now they're towing my car with my two twin boys that are four years old. Tag thing's supposed to be on that car. But you could let me drive away with a ticket for no registration, right? No. No? Okay. Now he's got to go get his car registered and, uh, See if he gets his car back. He has a pretty nice car, so he's probably going to come back for it. OK, guys, let's go walk into the L now. All right, back let's find some more gas here. Come on, let's go. The vehicle wasn't registered. It's just protocol for us to live stop at that point. Can't let him drive away with it. We'll take the L back home. Thank you. The stop sign's blocked up there. I got two young kids in the car. I'm not going to be all right. They're going to walk to the Sad to see, you know, you had two kids, it's cold out, but he knows the deal. When your car's not registered, you can't drive it, so. If they were to let him go, him cops would have gotten big trouble or maybe lose her job. I feel bad for towing some cars. Like that, I feel bad because there's two kids in the car, you know, it's cold out, but then I don't feel bad because I know I'm getting these cars that are illegal off the street. Once you get behind the wheel, it's your responsibility, especially to have a car full of kids. You know, I have a family. I don't want to get myself into that situation. I'm trying to get my car out. It's registered in my mother-in-law's name. They basically need her permission for me to get the car out. Guess everything should be all right. She should have put it in my wife's name. The hassle is trying to contact my mother-in-law. She's one of the type of people don't like to click over. This gentleman's vehicle was in his mother-in-law's name. <laughs> if the owner can't be here, we try to make exceptions as long as they're able to prove that it's okay for them to have that vehicle. What the f Talk to me, not through me, not at me, but to me. Please pick up the phone. Well, I had to work last night at this club. There's no sign saying I couldn't park where I parked at. I come out 3.30 in the morning, my car is gone. I'm mad as shit. Like, what the hell? That's damn near the tears, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Please pick up the phone. Talk to me, not through me, not at me. Hello? So ridiculous. Talk to me. Hello? If somebody's there, please pick up the phone. It's kind of an emergency. I'm trying to get in contact with my wife. I got to play cat and mouse. 
trying to find out where she's at. Hey, uh, where, where's your mom at? The car got impounded last night, and I'm down here right now trying to get it out, but they need her permission because it's registered in her name. Give me the house number. I wish I knew that. 610. Now I hope I can get a hold of my mother-in-law. Thank you, Lord. I need permission for me to get the car out. Hold on, I'm gonna put you on with the lady, all right? What's wrong? I have my mother-in-law on the phone, and I need permission from her to get the car out. All my paperwork is right there. Yo, he got his mother-in-law on the phone, and she's giving him permission to get the car out. We can't take verbal. What do you mean? I can't take verbal because verbal could be anybody on that phone. We don't know. We would have to bring her back down here. But if she's out of town, she could fax us a letter. Something to say that she's giving you permission to pick up her vehicle. OK, hold on. I told him as long as his mother-in-law could fax us a letter that it's OK for us to release the vehicle to him, we would do that. But that fax better come from out of town. But the fax should be coming to you shortly. OK, thanks. I'm just waiting on the facts to come in. Well, when it comes over, we'll call you back to the window. All right. We don't have any facts yet. Step to the side. Nothing yet. I haven't seen any faxes come over. She's killing me. It's not here yet. I guess this woman wasn't near a fax machine. <laughs> I'm still waiting. Like, hopefully it's coming in soon. Letters coming from a 610 area code. She's not out of town. This letter is coming from a 610 area code. Is everything good? I need to get the car out. Right. This fax is not coming from out of town. That's her house. Exactly. It's coming from her house. She lives in Nottingham, Pennsylvania. That's yeah. like two hours away. We do exceptions if they're out of town. That is out of town. Nottingham, Pennsylvania? No. I, I, I got the permission, though. Anybody could have sat in her living room and faxed it over. That's her. I can call her back right now and put her on the phone with you. That is her. Over the phone don't mean anything. Let's see here. The signatures on the paperwork all match. So I'm gonna give you this vehicle. Please don't get impounded at the parking authority again I'm because not, I'm not. God all bless right. you. <laughs> you go clubbing, I'll bounce this solo, I'll let you in free. Oh no, no, no. I don't <laughs> go clubbing. I do. So when you see me. You do? Alright, I'm gonna let you stay through. Not just need your signature. You're ready Thank to go. You very much. All right, you're welcome. Y'all have a good one. Normally, the owner will have to be here to pick up their vehicle. I'm just happy I got it out, you know what I'm saying? But after comparing the signatures, I decided to use my best judgment and release the vehicle to him. I could be like the first one in my family to be on TV for something good, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You'll never see my face again. I'm gonna take the train from now on. And if y'all wanna boot something, y'all can boot my bike. <laughs> Peace out. something. Shh. I hear it too. The genie says German town. She says she's feeling something. I call this device the ticket genie because it stares me where the tickets are. Now I'll walk down that block and bam, there'll be a ticket there. Voila. Done. I write a lot of tickets. I'm known for that. I'm a very hard worker. No matter what beat I go to, I'm going to get the best out of it. My personal goal today is 30 tickets. That would be great. Here we go. It's for an expired meter. I'm sorry, sir. 26 bucks. Look at the lettering. That's strictly from a computer. The tool of the government to wheel its magic wand over all of us.
15 tickets. I don't think other ticket writers refer to their device as a ticket genie. Maybe if they did, they would get more tickets. Who knows? Bam, another one. This is just my method. Genie. Some PEOs still write regular ticket books. That's the dinosaur. And this is the new. They went out with the horse and buggy. <laughs> and sometimes the pen is mightier than the computer. You hear that, Ticket Genie? He's talking crap. <laughs> Let's see where we're at now. 28 tickets. Two more. That's the goal. Oh, Genie, Genie, bring me a ticket. We're on the mission. Here we go. One of my pet peeves, a bus stop. And that's very inconsiderate. You're preventing somebody from getting from the bus to the sidewalk safely. I just wanted to make sure nobody was in the car when I wrote this ticket. I'm here. But you're not in it, and it's a good ticket. You're in the bus stop. I'm sorry, I looked inside the car and I looked on the dashboard and the it was... Bus, the bus is going there. But this is the bus stop. All this is the bus stop. Please, for don't even add us a minute. I, you said standing right there, didn't even know what you were doing. When it comes to safety violations, once we start the ticket, we cannot take it back. If I'd gone anywhere, I could understand it. A park and stand up right there. Right there, right here. You shouldn't have been parked there to begin with. You need well, to fight it, honey, because that bus do not come all the way up only, Why come they got all these signs, one hour, 30 minutes parked? They got too many signs up there. Okay. Okay. You can't go to the other neighborhood to find Sorry, ma'am. My badge numbers and my name's on the ticket. You're going to have to contest it. <laughs> I did not realize she was right to me a ticket. Because you said two hours parking. Yeah, two hours. Because I do said two hours parking, right. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Right. So you had two hours to park. Right. I hear you. I just. I oh, no, 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 no. The hour's pointing that way. But it's so people can understand, understand it. Right, right, right. 41 dollars. I'm 71 years of age. And it's not, it's a, I'm too upset to talk. Don't! Ticket Genie. She gave me 29. It's all right, Genie. I still have faith in you. Okay. You can sit in the front. I, can I write that white car up there? No. no. This is Greek Fest. I just know it's a party. Every Greek gets a madhouse. Oh, They're taking my bike. The man brought me down. Could you sign the paper? Yeah, I, I have people behind you. They can wait like I waited. They're patient, unlike you. What's she doing here? They're coming to get you. Get against the wall. Step back and put your hands on the top of your head. Don't make a move. You do it first, and I'll go next. <laughs> For the Greek, Philly is where it's at. Be there, baby. Got the Greek holiday going on. South Street will be big tonight. People will park wherever they want to park. Be a fulfill, baby. This is Greek Fest in Philadelphia. And this is when all the black letter Greek organizations get together. <laughs> As a supervisor of the parking authority, this is my first Greek weekend. Last year, I worked Greek as a tow driver. It's supposed to be a celebration of the fraternities. Yeah, ha, hi. Yeah, ha, hi. The Greek fraternities that they have, University of Penn, Drexel University. Maybe if I went to college, I know what I don't know much about them. I just know it's a party. This Greek weekend's a madhouse. It always is. Every year they're here. Yeah. I don't speak Greek. I just hook cars. Our role from a PPA standpoint is just to uh, assist the police officers down here. Clear out about 15 blocks on South Street from Broad Street down to Front Street. I try to keep the crowds under control so that everybody has a nice time, the Greeks and the locals. There you go, Eddie. There's our next six toes. <laughs> More than likely. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's going to be the majority why they got us down here for the motorcycle. Oh, that'll be the fun part. 
I love it. When you take a bike on South Street, everybody's watching, and they just get upset. I got four drivers out tonight. We're pretty good at what we do. A one, a two, a three, a four. Everybody jump, get down, funny flow. Mr. DJ, turn it up. Traffic's heavy. We still got a lot of vehicles sitting here. Sweet. It's a party that we have so we go. And we not leave till the morning come. Let's go. What's your way to the pond? Follow me. Let me show you how it's done. Jersey, he's looking to party. Maybe he'll park in the wrong spot. We have your hands from side to side. I haven't towed any horses yet. Everybody get down. Come with people, let me show you how we ride. Raise your feet and touch the sky. Hey! Roll down here and try to grab one. 10 4. I don't think they should really take cars like that. I see six cars go by within a half an hour. We're out here. Streets clear, traffic's moving. On to the next block. Yo. The 40 district just let us know that your pickup at 11th and Bainbridge is a motorcycle. All right, we're going to go head over to a livestock we just got. Police are going to impound a vehicle. Either the owner is unlicensed, suspended license, suspended registration, no insurance. A lot of the guys that drive the bikes tend not to have the motorcycle license. Cool over here. Oh, what's going on, brother? How you making it? How you doing, bro? They're taking my bike. I told you. I called it. I knew there was gonna be a bike up here tonight. You know this girl, you my focus girl. Side by side, we gonna show the world. So I didn't make a complete stop. I did a rolling stop. Now I do that, and a complete stop. Apparently nobody knows how to drive anymore. I ran a stop sign, that's what they said. I don't think I did. Huh? My license was not in the system yet, so they're taking my bike. I come down here for a big weekend to hang out and party, man. They meet a lot of girls and stuff. What happened to the bike? You didn't pound You see all these cops on bikes, man? They like, got nothing better to do. Except pull me over and take my bike. Yeah, um, always wear helmets. I wear a helmet, hey. <laughs> man. I'm, I'm glad, you know, I was not partying too hard. <laughs> so. I love it. I want more of it. Sucks, I'll admit it, but police are down there writing tickets. It's not much we can do. <laughs> oh, I don't know. The driver was observed back at 10th at Bainbridge, not stopping for the stop sign. The driver came back without having a driver's license. It's suspended. And now the parking authority's here. They're going to tow the bike away, and the guy's going to have to uh, take care of it through the parking authority to get his bike back. There's nothing I can do. You want to be careful with it? For me? I'm always careful. I don't want him to scratch it all up and stuff, you know? It looks like it's not gonna hit anything, and I, I think that, you know, if it sways, it'll be all right. Yes. Hello? It's all right, Ma, I'll talk to you later. Uh-oh. Yeah, I got, I got it right home, it's all right. Just then she told me I should have had my registration and insurance in the bike. <laughs> yeah, what am I gonna do? I gotta go to the traffic court at 8 this morning, Garden, Monday morning. Be there early, because there's gonna be a lot of people there ahead of you. I got a job, though, man. Yeah. The man brought me down. <laughs> it's another day in the business. People always ain't the smartest. You know what I mean? I gotta go through all this court stuff to get it back. She's a good girl. I'll see, I'll, I'll see her again soon. You know this girl, you my focus girl. Side by side, we gonna show the world. We gonna dance the night away, find a hideaway from now on. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, man. What's going on? What's going I've never seen anyone so happy to have their motorcycle taken from them. Never that many smiles. Oh, man. Good night. <laughs>
I have kids in college. It's the only reason I'm here. I ain't here because <laughs> I want to be here. I'm here to pay the bills. And, uh, Pat, can you spot me 150 bucks, dude? Yeah, I'll have my bags for you. I'll, I'll give you collateral, man. All right, cool. <laughs> Look what they make me do, man. The parking authority, man. I got a loan now. He's gonna kill me if I don't have it back in three days. I'm here to get my bike. I saw it over there. It's, it's still there. So I gotta figure out how much I gotta pay these guys. Running a stop sign is $117. Um, not having a license is $260. Oh, $75 just because I went to court. It's probably like another $150 just to get my bike out. It's ridiculous. The never ending cycle. Yeah, right. yeah go over here. You gotta pay her first. $162.60. And who's paying? I am. I'm just spotting it so my brother can give me the money back today. I'm actually I'm very lucky that he was back on leave. Just got back from Korea like six months ago. Came back here, I found out my buddy Dylan here, he was in a predicament with the law, and I came up to help. Do anything for my buddy. Here to the rescue right here. Can I help you? Registration, insurance, is this a motorcycle? Yeah. Got a driver's license. Now we're, we're putting it on the back of the truck. I need a license, your registration, your insurance for the truck. For the love of God. What are you kidding me? It was a live stop. He had a license suspension. Well, he got pulled over because he went through a stop sign, and that's how he got caught. Again, stupidity on drivers. If your license is suspended, why would you go through a stop sign? Okay, sir, your turn now. Sign right there at the X, please. What am I signing? Sign for the release of your vehicle, sir. I have a problem. There's a scratch on the vehicle. Where do I dispute that? Uh, when you pull it out here, you can come back in and fill out a damage claim. What line do I get in to file a damage claim? You don't have to get in the first line. And is that this line? That's that line right there. So sir. I see you again. Me can or, I do that now? You're my partner. No, sir. I got to get back in line? The car has to be released first, sir. Could you sign a paper? Yeah, I will, I have too. people behind me. I know. They can wait like I waited. They're patient. Unlike you. On our way. I don't disrespect nobody. I don't want to be disrespected. Next person in line. Here's the uh. OK. Sean, sign right here. You'll sign right underneath him, OK? <sighs> it's complicated. Sean, he's got to go over and get that. That's it? That's it. <laughs> be honest with you. If I had a motorcycle, a cop would never catch me. I don't know how they get caught. <laughs> right there in the front, Sean. Don't drop it. Huh? I'm dropping that thing. Watch out. Take it. I don't want it. I'll pull the truck up. Yeah, back it up over, over there. I got her back. She's still pretty. No damage. She looks just as good as the day I bought it. You know this girl, you my focus girl. Side by side, we gonna show the world. How you, how you wanna do this? Bring it to me. You wanna lift it up? Yeah. You're not gonna be able to reach down, dude. Man. Grab the board, man. Let's just ride it up. That's not gonna work. The board is too thin and it's too steep. We're gonna have to ride it up, bro. Come push. Bro, dude. Tow truck damaged the vehicle. Let's go see the wizard. My friend's back again. Next person in line. How you doing, Mr. Berger? I come to file a claim on the damage to my vehicle. That's nice. Read that, and then you have to fill this out. My psychological damage is intense. He's filling out a damage claim. He said we damaged his vehicle. Damage 
to the rear of the vehicle, but the vehicle was towed from the front. <laughs> Not a parking authority, it's a revenue authority. Let's get all the tow trucks and push them into the damn river. That's my recommendation on dealing with these people. He was just being a jerk from beginning to end. Most of them are pretty decent people. They understand they were at fault, and they don't get aggravated with you. Well, it's all I got, man. We always had it up there. Break on? No, break ain't on, bro. Let's go. I'm trying. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay. They are actually pretty cool. He did help us lift the bike up. Yeah, why don't we just pull down the street and I'll hop on it? What? No. That's the last thing we need right now. Yeah, I guess so. The next mess up Dylan's gonna be doing. Same exact thing. I'm giving it two months. Uh, that was rough. They were OK. They had all their great paperwork. When they have everything, everything goes smooth, you know? Tell you the truth, I'm still going to drive to work on my bike with that <laughs> license. You got to do what you got to do to make your money, you know what I mean? See you. Just another day, PP. Miss, this is the release form right here. They okay, gave listen me to me. No place I'd rather be than right here. No, 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 listen to me. How you doing today? What's up, man? We're coming to get you. <laughs> What's up, man? You're, you're wow. zipping around. I don't know what the hell you're doing. First thing in the morning, get the first thing in the morning done. <laughs> How you doing, doll? I would pet you, but I like my fingers right where they're at. Here's a violation. This is another meter ticket. Are we surprised? No, we're not. <laughs> What a beautiful thing in the morning. <laughs> I love every bit of my job. Yet another one. This job has stressful points. You get people scream at you, curse at you. But I wake up loving me. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing today? I wake up to four beautiful kids that I can get medical. I can pay the bills. I can put food on their plate. Boy, what a bad job. Here's another one. Expire meter. It's a shame. Now, this is my car. I dang. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> I don't like giving out tickets. But it's my job to give out tickets. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> I didn't know it was you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and I was sorry. <laughs> sorry about yesterday. <laughs> Thank you for the ticket, I call. Oh, I just love it. You're too kind. Well, yeah, you know the rules. I'll pay it with a smile on my face because Bunny gave it to me. I can't take it back. I got to do my job. Right here. Excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. This is my hand. I know. And the meter's empty. <laughs> I be damned. I don't believe this here. Hold on. Yo, give it a minute. Come here. Well, what's she doing here? I don't know. But it's called the police. <laughs> well, whistle, whistle, where they at? I'm giving them a rescission. What in the world is that? This is proving that you caught me while I was writing a ticket. And you don't receive one. OK. OK? But do me a favor. Thank you. Don't Get against the wall, step back, put your hands on top of your head, don't make a move. <laughs> All right, you do it first, and I'll go next. <laughs> <laughs> Most reactions from people toward Josh is, right, 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 right. Like, wait, 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 I can give you a rescission. And they're like, from right, 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 day. Sunshine. This one's getting a ticket issue because of the new meters that we have. It's like a little receipt. And if you look, there's no receipts anywhere. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm sorry. You have to have a meter slip in there. What was this other Steve? Yes. See? Display ticket on dash. I guess it's out of there. Come on, I'll give it. What is this? What is this? Dash like this? OK. I'm not going to go, uh, I mean, uh, drive on the street. You see this one? OK, but well, that's what I'm saying. Oh, Just call the number on the back of the ticket, sir. Get a job. Get a job. This is a job. I go to work for, you know, for a living. You can't make everybody happy. Or everybody else seems to be enjoying the new process. 
It gives you the time it expires, so they know exactly when to put more money in. Wow, so this is more economical. It, right. That's and great. That is and great. Oh, there's one, but it's upside down. If the ticket's flipped upside down, I can't say that this was a valid receipt for this time or this day. Unfortunately, some people are really dishonest. So he's going to receive a ticket. It's not my responsibility to make sure that it's visible. It is their responsibility. Officer, yes, ma'am. I got a ticket, and the thing is in my car. It has okay, I'm sorry. The ticket was flipped upside down, ma'am. Well, I couldn't see the time. This is the all third the time. one I've gotten like this, so I'm really, really angry. I know what I'm saying. Is I, I, I understand. I, I want your name. It's on here, ma'am. If you like, I'll write it, I'll write it on yes, your office. Yes, please. Set. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome, ma'am. I've paid for several tickets that I didn't earn. I don't know what it is. It's incompetent. Everything has little kinks. I think the new system's a good thing if people would just take the time to read. Taxi cab drivers know how to do it. <laughs> yes, sir? Yeah, she got this ticket in this age, 242. Right, which means this is expired at 242. Oh, no, no, no. Start the time. No, not it's not the start part. time. No, this no, is no, the no. time it expires, man. No. Ma'am, I'm telling you. No, that's you the time want. Expires. You want to see? I show you. Ma'am, I go put them one coro. Then I want to see what times come. Okay. 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 I call coro. Okay. Right. You push the button. Okay. It expires no. at no, 329. No, no, no. 329. No, no, no. It's 314. Okay. 15 minutes from now, it's 329. At 25 cents gives you 15 minutes. Forget it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> she didn't look too satisfied with the explanation. This is not right. And unfortunately, it was a good ticket, and I stand by it. I'm gonna take my last break, finish out my paperwork while I'm taking my break. Strong like boo, right ticket like man. Come on. <laughs> we got 35 tickets, two voids, and two restrictions. All together, we got 39 tickets. No, I don't. Mother. Tell your mom to give her back your money because you can't read. College students, doink. Let's yell something at a woman while we're walking by. And it takes two of us. If common sense isn't telling you, hey, my time's going to run out, let me go outside and put another quarter in. But we're bloodsuckers. Please, grow up. I do have a brain cell. Yeah, I got one left. They keep on pushing it, that one's gonna go. Forget postal, I'm gonna go PPA on people. <laughs> you need, uh -huh. Yo, guys, that ain't right, man. You guys gotta get this out of the handicap spot. I'm just blowing the trash up, that ain't right. That's a hospital. People got cancer in there and all, man, that ain't cool. You're just doing it because it's ignorant, because it's, it's more convenient for you. I hate that. I'm just sitting here asking her a question. I'm just loading the trash up. No, you're asking me in there with the parking lot's that for. Right. That's a hospital. There's another one right there. You could just say, could you please move because the people have cancer. I mean, think about it. If it was your mom or dad or aunt, would you want somebody taking a handicap spot? No, but uh, you're, you're being dramatic about I'm it. I'm not just being dramatic. This is something I go to every day. Okay. Dramatic. My pet peeve is the handicaps. We've seen people every day, amputees, cancer patients. These people don't have a choice about their illness, and they have a choice. They're getting paid to do a job. I'm sorry, but it pisses me off. It's not personal, it's business. I can be personally nice, but when they come to work in these areas, these are the rules that have to be enforced. They're enforced for a reason, and I'm here to tell it. It has nothing to do with being part of their PPA. It has to do with being a human being. 